Tonight on Eight and a Half Bit, Mario throws a hat, some praying mantises have sex, and something thinks it's kind of like Metroid. Welcome, friends of all designs, to episode 229 of Eight and a Half Bit, which I'm sure is going to be the most ha- James Kaki's hat back Paul, episode of them all. Can I, can I no, get my hat? Can, yeah, back, you <laughs> throw I, it out in the can intro. I, and can it's I please Paul, get my hat? Can, oh, can, can, I, can I get James's hat, please? Yeah, uh, that's, that's up for your ethical decision. Thanks, Amy. What, Jesus, a, what a coward. I even went underneath the camera. Yeah, yeah, you, you crawl. You crawl <laughs> on the ground. Uh, like, got Jesus. my sweet personality back. Okay, uh, friends, uh, no, I have to say who we are first. Um, oh, yeah. um, my name, I'm your host, Paul, and joining today are my good friends, James. Hello. And Amy. Hi. Uh, and friends, I have a question for I you. I love questions. How was your PAX Australia 2017? PAX Australia was good. I'd say it was a good PAX. I had good times and saw good things, and we did good panels, and I had fun. Hmm. How very pedestrian of you to say. Amy, this was your first PAX ever. What did you take away from it? I get it on, got in on the merch. You did. Your, what, $85 made yes. in China jacket? It's comfy. <laughs> it, it's it, a nice pattern. Yeah, I, yeah. It's, it's yellow, yeah. which... <laughs> <laughs> Technically correct. <laughs> That's kind of correct. <laughs> Yeah, I, I also got in on the pin scene a little bit, which oh, I'm so not going to do again. No, that's a dark path. It's too like, expensive no, no, no. as that's well. A, and people get Look, super hardcore into yeah. that. I, I've got some great pins over the, like, pr- official pins, and mm. they've always just been surprises when I've got them. They're going, oh, here's a thing. Like, yeah. Uh, um, mm. I had uh, one for Bramble Patch, which I think is coming out soon-ish from last year. The sweet Doom pins. Uh, the do- Yeah, but they weren't official. Ones. They are just sweet oh, pins. Oh, they're not penny ones, yeah. Uh, we got an Ashen one this year. I uh, had the... Um, uh, armed and gelatinous because I just won a match and said here's a pin and I'm like mm. wow now I feel good about myself and I've got a, a valuable nice mm. therefore worth as a person has yeah. increased I, I bought a really cool Zelda one that Zelda one I did almost buy mm. but then I thought it's $23 yeah and I won't use it yeah so I, 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 I just, walked out of the merch yeah. booth Purchased I, with money doesn't yeah. seem the way with pins mm. I could have bought two mushroom hamburgers mushroom burgers for that pin yeah, the worst oh. burgers of all time oh, and i've got two mushrooms uh, for the youtube viewers all <laughs> well the youtube viewers you are the min- minority of the show but that's all, <laughs> that's all right i mean i don't really we're not that exciting to look at but some people think so uh you might think there'd be no episodes in the last couple of weeks there were actually three episodes uh only in audio because we didn't have a camera down mm-hmm. in packs with us that we were recording on uh james and i drunkenly reviewing every day uh, in a show called Sleepy Time with the Spaghetti Boys. So you can check that out if you want to hear. Mostly can hear uh, ramblings yeah, we're, about we're okay. Yeah. I've been told it's relatively entertaining. Yeah. Like, yeah, think, we've I had think, some really good reviews on it. I think the last episode was when I was the most drunk. Uh, I was okay the first I can't remember two. if it was the first or second, uh, like the last night or was the second that night where the I robot fell asleep. Bar? No, it no. was after the, uh, after Megadev. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, that was fun. The, the robot, the first night was fun. Yeah. Robot, okay. Yeah. Well, my first experience with soju, which oh. is very good. Soju is nice. Soju is so good. Um, it's like delicious cough syrup. So most of our PAX coverage will be contained in those episodes. Mm. We'll probably mention a little bit tonight. But there's a lot of other things have happened since our mm. last main episode. So uh, we'll probably crack into that. Probably uh, most pressing, uh, Super Mario Odyssey was released mm. while we were at PAX. It's and pretty we've been playing good. through. Yep. I'm going to go out on a limb and say it's a bad, ge- badly designed video game. It's... Is it inconsistent? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. I'm trolling for shit yeah. there. Um, <laughs> if if you were to just view it as an overall like f- focused design, yeah. no, it's no, it's, well, it's it's 700 prototypes thrown together. Yeah, that's put together in a reasonably cohesive world. A cohesive world which it all controls mm. in in a understandable way. So you're not even though it's all these ideas thrown together. It's not hard to navigate and move around. Yeah. I think this... Um, I'll be interested to hear your impression. This is my impressions of what I think you will feel about the game overall because mm. uh, you haven't completed it yet? Uh, no, I think I'm about two-thirds through. Yeah. Uh, Amy, have you completed I'm it? I'm currently in New Dong City. Okay, yeah. cool. Uh, so oh, the end of New Dong City is so good. I've heard that. Mm. So uh, we're going to... Ex- the problem is 
It's a little bit difficult to talk about the game overall because all it is is a bunch of ideas and you don't want to share too many of the ideas because that's the whole thing. Oh, yeah, part of it is discovery. Yeah, so uh, yeah. we're not going to talk about too much further in the game other than the first couple of levels. We'll mention a few specifics, but generally we're talking broaders. Mm. Um, it is the easiest 3D Mario game ever made. Yeah, um, I, I don't feel challenged by it. I think I've died a couple of times. Yes, mm-hmm. and that's why I like it, though. <laughs> ah, yes, and this is why I go like, James, you will finish this game and you will hit the credits and you will go... That was fun. And you will put it down. Oh, yeah. And maybe a few years you'll play it again. Uh, you will finish the game with... I think you can finish it with around 120 stars. Yeah. I In the first few areas, I was a bit more completionist mm. about trying to get all the, the moons. And then after a while, I just... You, you, have, I, you have no fucking idea. Yet. Yeah. Well, I can see the list. Like, there's that list of, like, how many there are. Oh, is there another no, list? No, yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> so, um, how many moons are in this game, James? I, I don't know. I, look, I, would, I thought it would be somewhere in around the three, four hundred. Over eight hundred. Oh, oh me, Jesus. Pick me. Oh, well, it's, I just... It's you can just yeah, just, no, no, it's, it's over eight hundred. Wow. Okay. okay, so there's more so. stars past the... Yes, uh, finishing yeah. the game, uh, the minimalist run is very easy to achieve. Yeah. In fact, you can even skip most of the bosses if you want, because you just need oh, enough yeah, moves yeah, to move on. Oh, yeah, you need enough to get on. Uh, yeah. So what it makes is like a very friendly game that anyone can get through. There's also assist modes. I don't know if you've turned them on. Uh, they, they do things, make it harder to fall off things, um, and also they'll straight up tell you, here's the next moon, it's over there. Aww. Okay, because uh, I know there are things in there where you can like scan amiibos and it'll tell yeah, you. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, I bought the Bowser amiibo yeah. mostly out for the design, but um, yeah, it tracks down the next um, special world coins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, and that, well, I suppose we can get onto that in yeah. a little bit. Um, so, and also once the game ends, is in credits roll, that's really that's like the beginning of your journey if you want it to be yeah but it also gives a great finishing point for people that don't have the yeah. time to go and pour it into uh it also then you start opening up more difficult challenges so the game can get i wouldn't say at least anything i've done isn't like the hardest stuff i've played at Mar- but it's certainly pushing up the harder, difficult curve yeah yeah, yeah. um see um, I, i've really appreciated that because some areas i just don't like Mm-hmm. Like I get to it and I'm like, I don't like the setting. I don't like this. Some it's built on some mechanic. I just don't enjoy. Um, you like the onion men though, right? The ones with the stretchy legs. Uh, uh, yeah, those, I don't adorable. mind them. I yeah, the yeah. And the caterpillars. I like the caterpillars too. I think anything where it like kind of really mixes up the movement mechanics uh-huh. are generally pretty good. Almost every world has at least yeah. our thing to possess. What really changes traversal yeah. for each world, which is great. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah so there are some which I'm not really a big fan of, but I feel like I can skip through it. Mm-hmm. pretty easy so the way i normally play it is i'll kind of go through like the main like uh guide like it'll be hit, go to this light go to this light but i'll explore a bit on the way and kind of yeah. do a little bit of expl- you know checking it out um i'll always have more than i need of moon shines what are they called uh they're just called moons okay. moons yeah. i will have more than enough by the time i get to the boss yeah and because i know the bosses are also going to be pretty easy like yeah you know, well, they'll have the mid uh level boss which is one of the um brutals brutals, brutals thank yeah. you Ah, I still don't really get what that is. They're like it's the bridal party. Bridal, I, from yeah, what it's I a bridal understand. party, but I don't know what the oodle yeah. thing is. Like, they look like rabbits. They're, they're not poodles. They're yeah. rabbits. They couldn't put rabbits, I guess. And yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. Rabbits. I, I like the character design. Like, it's oh, just kind of cute. The names, the names kind of weird. Yeah. Kind of annoys um, me when they just re-pop up again. Yes, yes. You'll yeah. you'll end up fighting the each one at least twice throughout mm. the game. But the boss fights are so simple. Like, they're I, cute. I never, Generally, yeah, yeah, I really liked... Um, so the end of level bosses are generally more unique ones. Mm. Uh, and there's some really cool mechanics in those I like. But at the same time, several of them I went through without a single hit the first time. Yeah. And then the only one that really gave me trouble, I think was actually about the only time I didn't like the camera in the game because mm. it required me to do jumps yeah. where the camera pulled back so much. Actually, the camera can be a bit janky. Like, it, it seems to let stuff get between you and the camera pretty regularly. Like, yeah, and it, it shows it a little been, silhouette. Yeah, though. like it'll show a silhouette, but it's like, not cool. that useful. Like, no, because you can't see any of the geometry yeah. of the level. I, I kind of, there's been. For sure, you've internalized it by then, James. <laughs> mm. No, you know how I am with remembering things. I do. If I turn down the lights now, you just I'd fall out the window. I just call into a ball and cry. <laughs> like, I'm stuck. Even though there'd be light still coming out of the doorway, you'd be like, yeah, oh, like, God, no, no. But, but that door could bleed anywhere. Yeah. I don't know what's between me and the door. It's huh? true. It's true. Uh, if only there's a silhouette to show you the way. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, that's, uh, that surprised me a little bit. The camera? Yeah. Like, I, I, just would say, was... I would say whilst what you say is not incorrect, I'd still say it's probably the most solid camera of any it's okay. third person. Yeah, like it's, 
But just, what, what third person platformer would you say had a better camera? I don't really play many third person. Games. Yeah, that's kind. Of, that's that's kind of my point in that comment. You know what it could be is that maybe it it does actually a good job at managing itself most of the time, mm-hmm. and when the moment I have to start managing it, then it's like oh now I notice. Where if it's a game where I'm managing the camera all the time, then I'm just this is what I'm doing. I think, I never stop um, the camera. <laughs> the only thing that really annoyed me about the camera was how it was already set on low when you just start. Like the sensitivity. Yeah. Mm. I, I didn't, I didn't really feel like the need to change it. Really? Yeah, I've, I've put okay. it up to medium. Yeah, I don't think I changed yeah, it. I changed okay. the motion sensitivity because it seems different on the when you've got it um, in mobile mode versus. Mm. Uh, okay. I actually else. haven't played it in mobile mode yet. You the mean g- to? The Most game- of the stuff can be replicated by just pressing Y. But- oh, actually, yeah, that is one of the big. Yeah. I think negatives of this game yes. is that if you play in handheld mode, you are at a disadvantage. Like there are things like some things where it's like, oh, shake the controller to attack. And you have to actually shake the thing. That oh, most no, there are some. There are like I there's, think a, there's a cu- there's a couple there, ones that can't be replicated. I think the um the fish, the fish you have to shake it. Oh, to to attack, to attack with, yeah. the, with the cheap cheap. And yeah, so the yeah, only way to do it is to shake no? your actual. How do you attack with the cheap cheap? Why? You have to... no, 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 that, that that's uh. Or is that's it a speed. different? Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I haven't attacked yeah. as a cheap cheap yeah. then. Well, a lot of people actually don't know you can attack as a no, cheap. No. Well, there you go. Yeah. yeah. I mean, most of the time, it's little things like get a little bit higher or go a little bit faster, and I haven't felt like I really needed it anyway. Yeah. Oh, you um, when you start getting time trials. Yeah, stuff. maybe then. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but yeah, that actually that surprises me because that's probably that's actually really janky. That one of their main like there's three control methods for this game. Mm. One of them you can't do everything. Like it's or it's really awkward. To well, everything. yeah, they they be, the game starts literally telling you every single time. Hey, have you played just splitting up the yeah. controllers? Because well, that's yeah, how it's designed it does to play. It, it does it Please when do it that. Begins. Yeah. But I would argue that nothing. Whilst yes, uh, I've, I've played a little bit with them split now, and that is better. Like it's like okay, this is designed that way. You also could have mapped them to buttons. The yeah. game doesn't have a lot of buttons. No. Mm. There are more buttons than there are actions in the game. Yeah. So you could have just, like, uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, that, I that, think, like, that is one a slight downfall, but it's pretty minor. Because I think one of them is you can have the hat spin around you to collect the you coins. You can just do a spin with yep. a stick and then. Yeah, oh, oh, okay, so there is another. It took yeah. me too long to figure that one okay. out. Yeah. yeah. Uh, as I say, almost everything has a has a alternate. Mm. Uh, the only ones I know you can't throw your hat down because you can lob it up in the air if you do a th- if you do a jump ground pound and then throw you'll throw it up mm. yeah but i don't know when to throw it down which sometimes you do need to do to get mm. like coins that are floating over the edge yeah. or something but most of the time i just jump off uh get the coins yep. and then i die it doesn't matter yeah. Yeah. because the penalty for death is so minor in this game yeah you know, like which you, is what, another you, good thing you drop like 10 coins i think yeah and Something then like you can pick them back up again if you want anyway oh yeah yeah, yeah, yeah it's if, great if, if you died somewhere that's yeah. floor your coins will just be yeah. there on the ground yeah. and let's face it collecting the few coins that you lose yeah. takes normally about yeah. half a second from any checkpoint anyway um, but uh, I think that probably takes out a level of frustration in the game for mm. people like you, James. Yeah, like it's still a penalty. Yeah, I still, still like want to go it. back. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, I haven't got frustrated. Like ah. it's, not, it's not like I think I'm most of the way through. Well, good chunk through it now. And like I didn't like Mario sixty four. I generally don't like two D Mario platformers. I, I just don't like them. They frustrate me. You're this, more of a Captain Comic man. More of a Captain Comic guy. Um, but yeah, this one hasn't done it. Like I've been. Like, I still feel, maybe not challenged, but I feel like because there's so many new things coming in, I feel like there's new things to figure out. So it's like, it's not dexterous challenges, but it's like, oh, I've got this new ability. How do I use it? Have and you ingrained long jump, hat throw, hat dive, jump, spin? No. Oh, that's, that's your basic move, man. Is it, you know, yeah. the thing is, once you master that, most of the basic challenges of the game, if it's a jumping puzzle, yeah. just go, I might just jump straight to yeah. the end of this jumping puzzle yeah. and just well, do it epically long. <laughs> I don't, there's, there's some things where it's like, oh, we need to jump over these like yeah. like these platforms, but like, oh, but there's a bullet bill. Yeah. So you could just yeah. possess yeah. a bullet bill and just fly exactly. over it. Yeah. I think this is sort of like, this is very Breath of the Wild. This is very much like, and then once there's a full one I was joking about not being a good game, it's not so much a game as a playground. And you can engage in it however you want. But all those methods are fun. And if you want to be challenged, the challenge is there. If mm. you don't want to be challenged, that. So it really is a great equalizer of, I could give this to a very young child and they would still have a very good time. Yeah. Uh, I can give this to a skilled gamer and they will still have a good time yeah. with it as well. Um, and as deep as they go into it, it's totally their choice. And you can play this game for, I think you can sort of mainline the main quest in like 10 hours maybe. Mm. Mm. Or you could, I'm sure, if you want 100%, percent it'll probably be closer to 40 hours. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I, I feel um, like there's a lot there. Like, each of the worlds themselves aren't huge. 
But when I look at at least the number of shines, uh, moons that you have. I like how like, you go for shines. Shines. I, As yeah. it's like Super Mario Sunshine is, yeah. your, is yeah. your touchstone. I didn't to even series. play that one. I you know. It's oh. not everyone's favorite. <laughs> <laughs> I got uh, a soft spot for flood. Yeah, I, I don't know. This is, this just seems like there's a lot there. I feel like if if I was the kind of person who bought like a game every six months, mm-hmm. this would actually keep me going for a while. Like, oh yeah, you know, like yeah. it doesn't. I'm I'm kind of used to like if I play a Kirby game or something that that main line through is going to be so easy. I'm going to burn through it real fast, mm-hmm. and I feel and like there's not oh, much to go back that's to it. at all. Where this is like oh you know if I want to I never feel I think it's a good sign when the game. I know if I want to, I can move on. Yeah. But I'm like, oh, but I don't want to. Yeah, exactly. Like, I want to yeah. go and have a look. I want to go play around some different things. I don't know what you guys have done. As I progressed through the story, I, like I never went back. I, uh, I haven't either. No. Uh, I think I accidentally went back once. to see. Oh, I went to see if I could. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, oh, okay, I can. I just did level after level, and yeah. I played it until I... I basically played until I had exhausted everything I could see to do in the area. I didn't knuckle down and mm. try to get everything. I just like, okay, everything that's obvious to me and everything that's like looks interesting i'll investigate that and now that i sort of run my course here i'm going to move mm. on but i was also thinking it really this this game in particular really exemplifies and um the design of the switch being a portable and home console yes. in play that this is a game that you can sit down and say i'm going to play a world i'm going to dig mm. in this i'm going to investigate for hours or it has challenges so short you could Ah, let's call it a, let's say it's short enough to have a toilet challenge if you really want it. <laughs> yeah, it could be walking a circle. Because honestly, a lot of my games. There is one. Yeah. And, and yeah. The, it's great. <laughs> weirdly, this is a problem with why I don't play mobile games, which is kind of strange. Uh, I don't play mobile games because most of them take too long to start. Oh, with the Switch, though, you just. Because uh... I literally. I will play games in 30 second to one minute bursts sometimes yeah. in my life. Enough to it's poop. really like I just. Uh, not actually poop. I just mean like. I'm doing a thing and then the dogs jump up and mm. I do this or I'm like, I'm literally waiting for something. So I'm going to play for literally seconds sometimes, yeah. which is amazing for me. Cause it's like, no, oh, okay. I'm in the middle of this jumping challenge. Here I go, go through, got a spoon. Great. Okay. I put that down again and I move on when I like, I've, we'll get onto it later, but I've been playing animal crossing on the, on the oh, mobile. Okay. Yeah. You start that thing up. That's like, I don't know, a 30 second mm. wait. I'm like, mm. hey, I've actually finished my game time now. Close out. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Um, yeah, so as far as like for what the Switch is, this home console and mobile hybrid, this game design is mm. perfect for it. Um, I don't know. I don't know if it's my favorite Mario. Yeah, I was going to ask, like, where does it sit in the Mario list for you? Um, I mean, I love the Galaxy games mm. so much and I have a lot of nostalgia for 64. Um, and the thing is, it's, it's kind of weird. This game has more in line of... Um, of challenge structure towards something like Banjo Kazooie than it does to Mario, because Mario up until now has been, this is your task, this yep. is your level. Mm. Uh, Galaxy, it was still kind of a pretty much a linear progression through levels. Mario was, you go into this level to do this challenge, and short, sometimes you could divert and get a different star, but it's like, no, no you're doing this. Once you get the star, you're kicked out, yeah. and you have to go back in. This is just a world, and the stars can be well, moons, yeah, can be <laughs> as low as, okay. There's a shining bit on the ground, butt stomp it, you got to move. Yeah. Or it could be a really complex jumping puzzle mm. and they're worth exactly the same. Yeah. I think it, what I've found is whenever, and actually I think Zelda did a little bit of this, Breath of the Wild yeah. did a bit of this as well. Whenever I go off and explore, uh-huh. there'll be something. Yes. Yeah. It's like, if I go, oh, what's this over here? Oh, I got a moon. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. They reward you anything that you think is worth investigating yeah. will give you something. If not a moon, at least some coins. Yeah, some or maybe coins some, or... some we were mentioning before the local currencies. Yes. Yeah. Each world has a yellow uh, has a sorry. Purple. Purple. Yeah. I can't tell the difference between yeah. purple and all right. I couldn't say yellow there. Yeah. Like, oh, I can't say colours. Um and they're always themed to the world, which is kind of fun. Yeah. Um but yeah, yeah, you collect those and then in each world you can use them to I'm just trying not to talk so much as fast as I to buy, buy cute costumes. Yeah. yeah and yeah. stickers yeah. And, yeah. and models I've for never, your ship. I've never bought any stickers. What? Oh, the I stickers know. are the best bit. Do they go yeah. on the hat? Yeah. They're, yeah, no. they're on the outside. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Can you place them? No. No, it's okay. just automatic. But it looks like um, a well traveled thing. Oh, yeah. I, actually, I, because I normally just get enough to get the costumes. Yeah. Or at least like the really unique one for it. Um, and that's kind of I'm like, oh, it's yeah. good. Because there are some no, more challenges yeah. where you need them to kind of go. I was very disappointed with the swimmer costume. Because it didn't do anything via swimming. No, none of the costumes yeah. give you any abilities, which feels like a slightly missed opportunity, I, but also would make it... Too, then it becomes like, yeah. oh, you yeah. have to wear this for yeah. this. I, I, I like that there's there's 
attributes attached to costumes, like how warm it is. Because yes, oh yeah, 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 like yeah, yeah. Because it, it affects really subtle things. In yeah, the world, yeah. Because yeah, because yeah, I went to one of the ice ones and I walked out. I think it was in my underwear. Yeah, yeah. and it's mm-hmm. like, oh, I'm cold. I did all the game in my underwear. Yeah, and then I went, oh well, I'll just go put on the warm clothes, and then it kind of yeah, yeah. And, but then I think I went to the jungle at one point and I was in my underwear and he was cold. It's it, but mm-hmm. then he, like they have like levels of like how warm the clothes is. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, I, I thought it was kind of cool. Yeah, so I've been wandering around in my uh, Bowser tuxedo and a sombrero. <laughs> yeah, it's great. Yeah, um, I like Gangster Mario, and there there are some cool <laughs> post game outfits to get yeah. to. But it's really just dress up. Mm. There's one moon per world, which is just like, did you buy this world's costume? Are you wearing yeah. it? Here's a moon. Yeah. Uh, I like the one where it's like, did you get a hundred coins? Have a moon. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, but yeah, it, it is fun to play dress up, and they're, yeah, they're, they're very attractive costumes. Yeah, and I, I kind of wish I leaned into that a little bit more with whatever follows up this game. I don't know if there's any DLC plans for... Um, they have not no. said anything about DLC. I, if they, I was just thinking about Xenoblade just then. No, that's that soon. <laughs> yeah, can't wait. It's a, it has no tie-in with Mario. <laughs> <laughs> um, but um, I, I, if they did a couple more worlds... Yeah, I could... I could yeah, 100% I'll, I'm down like a clown yeah. on Charlie Brown. That said... I would um, like to see them do some Nintendo crossover DLC. A bit like they did with Mario Kart. So oh, have, yeah. you have like, you know, maybe like a Metroid level or a... Yeah, Animal yeah. Crossing level or something yeah, like that. I mean, this this game literally allows pretty much anything. And they have out. real people with Mario, which really made me feel weird. Yeah, that that's artistically. I think, well, I think it's in the first level you see like someone from New Donk. Mm. Yeah, where it's like, oh, his his cab is crashed in the middle of the desert, and it's like next to him will be like a skeleton. Yeah, with like a, with a cartoon skeleton with a costume. Like, yeah, it's just Probably like holding some maracas. Yeah, he's <laughs> doing his little maracas. But yeah. did you find the sad man? Which one? No. <laughs> so in New Dunk City, so one a single puzzle spoiler in this game of over eight hundred puzzles. Aww. It's just a sad guy on a bench, and if you sit next to him, he just says, "Thanks for listening to me." And oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> it's good. like it's actually nice. It's weird. Both, um, both this game and Breath of the Wild, yeah. had very. That's like both of them just had like one at least one small little moment which was kind of a mental health thing yeah mm. like so they, the, is that the bridge one you're yeah they had the bridge yeah. suicide one in in legend of zelda where you're on the edge of a bridge and a guard will run up to you and just like so, yeah, no don't don't, ju- do, don't, yeah. don't jump let's talk you come down and yeah and this one's sort of like yeah someone that's being overlooked by society and he's pro- has problems that he wants to share and if you just give him a moment of your time the world's a slightly better place yeah and, and you like, get you get a moon yeah. It's not too preachy. It's yeah. kind of fun. And you get a moon. Yeah. And you get a moon. <laughs> I'll moon you, buddy. That's all he wanted. Yeah. He just wanted to moon I me. think the real lesson is that every Unrelated. good deed deserves a reward. And like a moon. And if you don't get one. It deserves you... a mean- mooning. Yeah. Oh, it deserves a mooning too. Yeah. yeah. That's, the that's important all thing I want is life. you're entitled to something for your good deed. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> <laughs> oh man it's actually just got a lot worse in here <laughs> oh, I'd, love, I'd love to talk about one of the plot reveals in New Donk City but I think that'd be saying too much because I yeah. don't know what we're supposed to take out of that but um, anyway Super Mario yeah. Odyssey if you haven't heard is a video game on yeah. the Switch and it's very good there's a lot of good things in that game this is from someone who doesn't even like Mario games that's true you, I really enjoy it you hate joy I do I, I hate, hate Mario fun. But he's so friendly. No, he's not. He's it's an me, awful person. An Italian stereotype. He's, right. he's okay. But yeah. is he really an Italian stereotype? Is he even a plumber anymore? No. Uh, no, he was officially not a plumber, I believe. It's like everything now. Yeah. Well, well, he can't he can be yeah. all, almost literally anything. You could be a tree. <laughs> you could get the um the construction outfit which looked like the one from um the builder, Super Mario Builder. Um, um, maker um, maker maker there we go it has okay. the same kind of yellow kind of construction suit, which really made me want to see mario oh, maker on the switch al- almost it's coming it better it has there, to there are so many things that are obviously coming and hasn't been announced yet yeah nintendo are keeping weirdly caught, like okay like pikmin 4 at this point that was finished like almost two mm. years ago now they probably retool a little bit of the switch but that's a finished P- pikmin yeah. game there waiting to be released It'll happen. I'm so looking forward to Super Mario Builder on the Switch. Yeah. I could, you know how much I love building things in video games? The last um, the last Switch firmware update added GameCube controller support. Oh, mm. yeah, they did, didn't they? Why did that get there? Yeah. Jeez, I wonder why. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad I got that adapter. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, I guess when, when the um, Virtual Console inevitably does come back, I'm sure they'll re-release that. Man, if they... Um, well, they won't... They won't they'll just do... They'll just 
re- do a remastered Super Smash on. Oh, and then re- yeah, yeah. But if they did actually GameCube Virtual Console stuff, that would be amazing. Well, that's too. what I kind of. That's hoping. what I want. But yeah, I don't yeah. think. That, I don't think that. I yeah. think that's a straight up cue of yes, we're, Smash we're putting Bros. Smash Bros. back coming on. here, yeah. and I kind of hope that they do more than just what they did with Mario Kart because while it's a good game, I. Kind of, one of I'd, more. Yeah. I'd like some new stuff. Yeah, yeah I, I played yeah. the hell out of Mario Kart 8. I want new things. Mm. Yeah, exactly. Unfortunately, um, enough people didn't play it that they can kind of get away oh, with just yes. re-releasing it and, with minimal effort. And we oh. are suckers. Mm-hmm. And I was thinking it's like, man, what's the point of being able to use a GameCube adapter? Because I can't plug in the adapter while I'm holding in handheld mode. Mm. I'm like, wait a second. It's for when you've got lots of people and that's when it's in the dock and that's when there's a USB yeah. port. You know, it's you, fine. Did you know you can dock the Switch? Yeah, yeah. What? So so in the corner of the screen, because I just decided we'll just use the TV in the background for now, I've got Mario. Around. This is literally the first time I've ever put Mario on a television. Yeah, see, I did it as soon as I got home from PAX. Yeah. I was I, like, this is the best way for me to play it. Nah, nah. I love dock. Dock for life. I love docking, Paul. Who doesn't? <laughs> <laughs> Buddy. <laughs> take that all the way to the bank um yeah i i'm you know i just love a handy yeah <laughs> and you're a bit of a switch i hear amy yep sure yeah <laughs> i like this podcast yeah. me too <laughs> those are all sexual terms <laughs> oh i get it now mm. okay uh shall we move on Yay. can we just uh should we take a moment to just um now in this post Mario Odyssey world. Oh, okay. Oh yeah. no, it's um, now a post Mario Odyssey. Is it, is it Mario enough Odyssey? of a paradigm shift? No. That we because I do think we are still in a most a post Breath Zelda of the Wild. Breath of the Wild, Wild world. I think that yeah. that was a paradigm shift of open world. I don't really get that from from no. Mario. Like it's just a, it's a good. Open I think it world. is an excellent game that anyone with a Switch would be mad not to yeah. play. But I don't think. I think I, I think its greatest achievement is making it look so easy. Mm. When we've had like had in time ukulele, like yeah. people are trying to bring back some of this stuff, and Mario comes with this mishmash of random shit. It shouldn't work. It shouldn't like, work. I, when I saw the different worlds, I'm like, this is just random. Like this art style yeah, is not coherent it, at all. It it's, does. It works. It's mm. extremely it worked. good. And, I don't know. Yeah. I don't even. I don't know if I really like it or not. The art it's, style, like just in general. <gasps> I don't know what I. I don't know what man. I feel. It's like I love this game, but. I don't like playing it at the same time. It's mm. yeah, it's something I'm trying to figure out. Do like, you do you like collectathon platformers? I do. Mm. Then yeah, well, because yeah. I, I, I don't know. Because <laughs> I, I I enjoy the moment to moment is okay. Like the uh-huh. controls, like it, it controls fine. Yeah. The bit that I enjoy is the discovery. Like yes, it's finding definitely. new things. It's, and, it's what I had with Breath of the Wild. Yeah, it's, it's like if the Korok seeds in Legend of Zelda weren't just five puzzles repeated. Yeah. But they had eight hundred yeah. puzzles um, repeated. Well, well, no, I think there were a couple only, that repeated. But generally, oh, you mean in in, in Odyssey? Oh, yeah, no, yeah. I thought you were talking about um, Zelda. No, no, so Zelda only had a couple of puzzles that they repeated yeah. eight hundred yeah. times. Yeah. It's like, oh, look, there's something, and I do like in this. There's a couple of times where they straight up do the same thing. Like, hey, there's four statues in a row, but with a space missing. I wonder <laughs> what I do. <laughs> so, okay, great, but um. Mm. Yeah, and there's still plenty of puzzles that repeat, like just finding things in the ground. Yeah, that's kind of fun. Stomp or the butt stomp—you see something on the ground, like I'm going to butt stomp it. It's like could be a moon. It could be. Could be. Could be enemies. It could be yellow goombas. Oh, yeah. but um, you have you sort of felt the controllers when you walk up to one of those? Yeah, yeah. yeah. They just start vibra- vibrating stronger mm. every time you get close. It's like quite like. I that. always turn up that vibration as yeah. high as it can go. I, can you even do that? Yeah, yeah there is no. vibration control on oh, there. Okay. Yeah. It plays well with the Pro Controller. I haven't used the Pro yet. I don't have a Pro. Pro Controller? Yeah, Pro Controller's real good. My, my I test, want one. My test today was um, I plugged it in and said, like, oh, I guess I'll use the Pro Controller. I wonder how long it holds its charge. When did I last use this? Probably like six months nah. ago. <laughs> it does not hold its charge over yeah, six months. No. Well, I'm not going to hold that against it, however. No, <laughs> no it's because it's because I find it, the battery in that thing lasts a lot longer than my PS4 controller. Uh-huh. Yeah, like it, I very rarely have to charge my... Even after lots of Zelda, that, that Pro Controller... Holds it, holds oh, yeah, the, um, the Wii U Pro Controller doesn't hold itself mm. that long. Maybe a couple of months at most. Because that's how often I play my Wii U. Wii. Poor Wii U. I like my Wii U. It's still there. I thought yeah. it plugged in. I've got a bunch of games I bought pre-owned. Mm. I just need to play them. Yeah. Do you know I played Chronicles X? God. It's still there. Guys, when, when are we going to have that, um, that Animal Crossing party game? Oh, the one with the mm. Amiibos. Yeah. I've... 
I weirdly have a whole bunch of Animal Crossing Amiibos and a copy of that game, which I've literally never unseen. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you own it? Because it was like five bucks. Oh. Yeah, it went down to less than 20 bucks. Okay, fair enough. Times. No, I literally, I, I doubt I paid more than five dollars. Okay. Nice. I, I feel like that's all it's worth. Yeah, I mean, I'm not an Animal Crossing person. And also, if I'm going to play Mario Party, it's going to be a real Mario Party. <laughs> and I need to torment James as much as possible. <sighs> Man, we need to do a Mario Party day. They've got to do one on the Switch. They will. Well, we could do a 3DS one. Nah, that's terrible. It's just the mini games. What's the point without the... Th- oh, you tell it's just the good part. The board game <laughs> that, that just drives you insane. And no one of the current ones where it's like everyone moves together. That, no, fuck that <laughs> bullshit. No, this needs to just be like random die rolls making James angrier and angrier <laughs> for hours. Because <laughs> it takes it doesn't so mean, long to that's, play a game. That's, that's the thing, isn't it? Like if it's a, if it's a 15 minute experience, I can stomach it. But it's, it's not. But it's a it two, goes three on hour game. Gross. And on. And on. It's so good. You get I'm, I'm so getting mad, mad thinking that about it. That sounds gross. Because so <laughs> I don't want to just like abort the game. That just screws it for everyone. But I will complain bitterly. You will. The whole and time. I just giggle the whole time. <laughs> we need to bring Ben back for it. Let's, let's complain together. No, you'll just love it. You'll have a great time. It's terrible. I don't like Mario Party that much. Mario Party good. is one of the greatest games of all time for angering James. <laughs> <laughs> and that's really all I really want. Yeah. <laughs> It's perfect. Um, since we're just uh, on the Switch mend and we've mentioned the name a few mm. times, uh, uh, Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Yes. Uh, it does it's coming look really out, fun. Uh, 1st of December, so pretty soon That's, now. Yes. Uh, they had a little... Weeks, three weeks. They had their little uh, Nintendo Direct on it mm. today and uh, probably the biggest news out of it, other than just like, this is what the game is, uh, is that Japanese voice pack will be available as free DLC. Okay. On which makes day me one. very happy. Yeah, which is, yeah. guess what they did with um, Fire Emblem Warriors. You could just go download yeah. this DLC. Yeah. It, it, I think it's it's a good it's a good solution. Mm. It, it, it's really showing the listening community yeah. thing because yeah. that's one thing that always gets people up in arms. Mm. Honestly, I will play it in English unless it's painful. Yeah, uh, which most things aren't these days. Yeah. I always think back to my years of like, no, I only listen to to uh, just I only do subs because I hate the dubs. Mm. But that's really because I hated. Um, just the way that English dubs were done most oh, of the time. Oh, I think time. they they used to be pretty bad. It, well, yeah. The old strong bad thing when they had the twenty X D C or whatever. Yeah. It's like, ha ha, I'm here, ha ha, ha ha. He said, like, yeah. "Yeah, well, that's what, what it used all to be of, like." Yeah, yeah. It's like, well, no, now it's yeah, it's okay. And I never knew if the voice direct the Japanese voice direction was any better, but I just yeah. couldn't understand well, it. it. Therefore, yeah. by default, better. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's my problem at the moment as well. So yeah. it the solution makes me happy. Yeah, mm. uh, give everyone the options they want. And oh, it's great. I've been watching more of Recovery of MMO Junkie. I've been meaning to watch this. It's, it sounds really good. It's so good. So what is this? It's so an animu. It's a. It's an anime. Animu. It's an. <laughs> and I think it's only about uh, ten episodes long or something like that. Uh, but it's the story of uh, a neat, which is not in educational education or training, education employment well, or training. training. Yeah, yeah. Basically, a doll bludger. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Where, yes, yeah, as we call them in Australia, yeah, she's a 30 year old lady who quits a job. You don't know why, I, I have no idea why yet. Uh, and then she just becomes an MMO junkie, she just joins an MMO. And so, it's sort of on one part, it's like this, this kind of drama of like what's going on with her, and like mm. you know, she's struggling with issues. On the other, it's like this adorable story inside an MMO, but it, it, it kind of like it plays it real, like it Sounds plays like a bit of a rip off of Dandy Dungeon, <laughs> yes. It, I was gonna say that it plays it with like real MMO things like one episode was half about loot boxes okay. yeah. one, one of my favourite little things they do is they'll have characters where in the game they're walking around talking but it's actually a couple that play mm. and so you don't know if it's the husband or the wife that are currently playing that character oh, yeah. so it does things like it, it tries to actually <coughs> play, like real world things that happen yeah. to people playing MMOs it's adorable so, it's um, so good it's crunchy roll or? yeah it's yeah, on crunchy okay. roll yeah, I, yeah. I have anime lab yeah. so. the, the main love triangle the main kind of drama with the, with the relationship is that both the male and female characters are playing swap genders and neither <laughs> of them really know Aww. And they're, they're kind of it's yeah it's good it's cute it's a it's a good show I enjoy it we so should both sign of up them to think they're role. having yeah. a homosexual relationship and they will be devastated once they find out it it's could- actually heterosexual yeah. <laughs> I relate I relate <laughs> deeply um, well then also um I noticed today that uh, your sister's company is uh is is doing some loot boxes for Christmas? Oh, that's yeah. They have their um. They do them for been doing them for a while. Mm. It's because it makes the bank. <laughs> I know. It <laughs> makes the money. Well, at, at PAX, I did win a little bit from a loot box. <laughs> oh yeah, you got your uh, a super rare Charizard card yeah. from a Pokemon. Wait, have you sold it? No. Well, so so, so far, you, so far, you got nothing. Yeah, I still got. You know, it's it's still there. I just mm. I'm just keeping it for a few years. Yeah. 
Like my Bitcoin. Yes. Good old yeah. Bitcoin. Good old Bitcoin. I don't know, your Bitcoin could get lost. It, it can could. Happen. Oh, my Bitcoin is like almost doubled in value. Mm. I, I'm expecting it to crash <laughs> <laughs> sometime when they fork Bitcoin. Maybe I should just be really ready for like the next crash. Or maybe I should just get into it. I mean, it, yeah. it never, like, it goes down, but it doesn't, like, then go under. It's just, yeah, like... Yeah, it kind of goes keeps, up and down, up yeah. and down. Yeah, but, but it, it still it's progresses an up. It's up. trend. Yeah. I don't, want, I don't know when it's going to peak. I, I've, I just, been, I've been thinking about getting into Bitcoin. Well, I just thought I'd drop a little bit of cash yeah. on it. And, I just want something yeah, to... Who knows? I just want to say I you own know? Bitcoin. Nah, you don't want to buy a whole Bitcoin. No. <laughs> it's like $10,000 yeah. right now. Oh, I mean, like, if I could afford it, I would. <laughs> that'd, be, that'd be a great situation for everyone involved. It's like, oh, well, I, I do. I just happen to have $10,000 spare, yeah. which is a good thing. So, I mean, I do, um, but not I was, spent on Bitcoin. So it, was, it was good. Yeah, that- yeah that's, that's the thing. That's the spare <laughs> aspect of it. <laughs> so it turns out it was good advice that I took from the random tattooed man on the street who I thought Aww. was a junkie. That's good. He, he, was, he, he still could have been a junkie. He gave me good advice. Go buy that Bitcoin. Some junkies are very high functioning. Yeah. He Why? was high functioning enough to tell me to buy Bitcoin. Nice. Unlike That's our high functioning. ex-prime minister who got too drunk to go to votes. <laughs> mm, let's get political. Oh, Tony Abbott like missed out on a number of votes because he was just too drunk to turn nice. up to Parliament. Oh. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> by the way, we're going to have welfare cards now. <laughs> <laughs> huh. oh, yeah, we tried mm-hmm. to laugh it off, but it's just... What? Uh, let's not bother with politics. I can explain it to you later. Do yeah. it. Yes. <laughs> well, welfare cards for the undesirables to stop them spending their money on things that they want. That makes <sighs> sense, but... Mm. We'll explain why it doesn't. Okay. Later. <laughs> okay. We'll, we'll explain a few human rights things later. <laughs> okay. Um, Do it. Okay. Uh, let us talk about yes. Paris Games Week, which happened. Oh, yeah. Um, That's a lot, a lot of things. Yes. Uh, you showed me a video while I was petting the puppy. And you missed yes, the video because you you're petting the puppy. I saw the video. Well, no, most of it. Yeah, what it was, was it called? Just, I, I can't remember. Yeah, exactly. Mm, good, good, good. Because okay, the um, title so didn't pop up on screen. Sony uh, made Paris Games Week no, no, kind no, of a thing this week. No, no, it's called Concrete Dungeon. Oh, well, incorrect, but you're yeah, close. Concrete Playground? Nope. We'll, we'll get to it when we get to it, though. <laughs> um, so you were very close, but incorrect both times. So bad girl for not doing your homework. Concrete Garden? Okay. Oh, so no, getting closer. Yeah, getting closer. <laughs> okay, um, so kicked off uh, Sony's big focus on Paris Games Week. Yep. I think basically because they were going to try to get out just... Just before the Xbox One X launch, just mm-hmm. to say, hey, remember, we've got a shitload of games coming. Um, for better or worse, the, what basically what, they had a big dump of games here. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of VR stuff, which we probably won't spend a lot of time on, just because... One day I'll get a VR. Yeah, and it's, it's a getting lot of them support. Sort of, like, Sony's doing a pretty good hey, job at supporting that hardware. The fact that they showed off, like, I don't know, 15 or so VR games, yeah. maybe go, oh, okay, they haven't... This isn't just mm-hmm. the move. They're actually yeah, doing it's, some it's, more stuff. Yeah, it's... It just uses the move. I so, mean, in fact, they didn't abandon the move. Yeah. I so, mean, yeah, well, <laughs> <laughs> they did for the PS3. Yeah. 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 Uh, so, technically, they have it now because it's yes. now part of PSVR. Uh, okay. So, first off the rank, we had Guacamelee 2 revealed. Yes. Mm-hmm. Made me extremely happy. Drinkbox is a fantastic studio. Sorry, I got hiccups. Severed was really cool. Severed was great. Guacamelee is fantastic. Even Mutant Blobs Attack, whatever, was pretty so decent. what is different with Guacamelee 2? No idea. <laughs> it's new, so more guacamole. More guacamole. You call back in. It's more, even though they, like, they showed lots of little gameplay bits. I mean, mm. it's going to be Metroidvania again. It's got their cool art style. They haven't gone into what makes it yeah. unique yet. Just that there's more coming and that will generally have me interested and hopefully it has enough twists on it to make it yeah. just not a retread of the original. But we'll have to wait and see. Uh, Hong Kong Massacre they showed off, which yeah, it was has a little been bit, shown a little, a few, yeah, at least a year a, so far. A, a little bit Hotline Miami with its mechanics. Yeah, some people call it Hotline Miami crossed with Max Payne. Yeah, that's, that works that's, for ex- me. Yeah, that's exactly what I thought. In fact, when I watched it, I thought, man, someone should do like Max Payne Hotline Miami. That would work pretty yeah, well. Yeah. That's actually kind of what this thing I is. Think it's, I think it's more like narrative. Oh, well, I mean, Hotline Miami is narrative, but I think it's more like level levels than short um, yeah. uh, encounters, which Hotline Miami was more focused on, uh, which looks cool. Uh, Gardens Between is coming to PS4. That's a game you can hear us talk about on the mm-hmm. Spaghetti Boy episodes of PAX because we played it down there. Uh, a new tennis game, which made me think, hey, yeah, why don't we have tennis games anymore? Because we got Mario for, Tennis. For, so when? Where did we get um, Mario Tennis? Wii U? I yeah, think it was on Wii, Wii U. U. Yeah, was there Wii a tennis yeah. on Wii U? I think I so. Think, there I was th- one on Wii. Might have been on 3DS. There was a sports one on 3DS. Mm. It's true. But yeah, also, had, most of the Mario sports games kind of sucked. Yeah, we haven't had too much good Pong in a while. Yeah. Virtu- we, we loved Virtual Tennis mm. back in the day. Perfect so, game. Yeah. Uh, mm. Tennis World Tour, that's called. And I don't know if it will be a good one or a bad one. 
Um, they had some Sims 4 news, like a Roku 2 is coming, a couple of VR games, a few that I will pull out. Uh, Sprint Vector, I feel like, thought was kind of okay. interesting. What's that one? Uh, it's a running game. It's like a parkour game. Okay. Uh, so whilst the character is, it, is running through the environment. Is, is it going to give you the bombs? That's what we're going to have to check. Because <laughs> it sounds like it'll give Paul the bombs. Potentially. Yeah. Um, but there's a lot of dodging as you're running. Yep. So whilst you, you as a character, obviously, you're not going to physically be running through the world. You just run to the wall. You'll have to move around things as, mm. through the world, which actually looked pretty cool. Um, and a bit different because a lot of them just end up being a stance. So did it use your body galleries. to move the... I don't know. It was a trailer. Yeah. Okay. But it looked like it yeah. looked like it's first person, and you are literally okay. Hey, this I'm, I'm running along here, and something's being fired at yeah. me. I'm going to dodge it. Yeah, because yeah, something that I liked in um, the PSVR game I played, the luge, luge, was that it used your subtle head movements yeah. for controls. Turns out we're real good at controlling an X. Yes, exactly. So it was like, oh, it's just really clever. Like it's, it well, that, works really that's well. That's what all the VR games I've liked the most are ones where I am able to move around in the space yeah. and. Don't need much, but just enough to leaning as long as the tracks are okay. Hey, super hot. It's yeah. like you don't need a super lot to, to dodge a bullet. You just need to tip your head out of the way and mm. watch it go past. It's, yeah, it's pretty pretty good. Uh, Moss is coming in February. That's the one with the mouse where you're like a no face. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. M-A-U-S? Uh, M-O-S-S. M-O-S-S. Moss. Moss. I also found out that um, Unraveled was actually released. Unraveled. Remember Unraveled? We yeah, were really that, excited it for it. It's out of ages ago. Yeah. It came out like a year ago. I know, ago. but we were so excited and we never really made any fuss about it. Yeah, I think we discussed I played it. it. Oh, okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, bought, I bought it day one and yeah. I played through like half the game before I got sick of it. Yeah, okay. no, I knew it wasn't a game for James, so I yeah. didn't play it. Yeah, because it, it's, it it's a side scroller platformer with frustrating physics, hmm. uh, which I had fun with for a while. And then I'm like, mm, they still just don't. I just have to fiddle too much. Yeah. Uh, they were allegedly working on Unraveled 2. I don't know if that's still continuing, though. Uh, it's been a while since I've heard about that. Um, yeah, a few other ones there. Bloop, 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 bloop. Skipping bloop. some stuff. Uh, Dead Hungry was... Um, What's that one? It's, uh, it's Q Games. Oh, okay. Guys. Yeah, yeah. But it's, 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 it's like um, Job Simulator, except you make fast food, and but it's also a, a zombie wave thing where you've got to like, feed the zombies as they're running towards you. I was like, this is just a shooting gallery. Why are you guys... You guys are so creative. Yeah. But I think they. I think after um, Tomorrow Children, which is now shutting down, I don't think oh, it's they, they, shut down. They're a bit burnt. I think it's like, like, we, we went too weird. We need to be safe. We need to be... A shooting gallery. <laughs> oh, I, was actually, I, was I mean, lo- it's more than a shooting gallery, but it's still... I was looking at some screenshots yeah. for Tomorrow Children just today, actually. It's such a it's gorgeous such a game. It's a good looking game. Does that make them today children? No, it's the never children. Yeah, uh, that's the, the forgotten children, yeah. unfortunately. <laughs> um, which that's the sort of thing I'd love to sit down and do a post mortem with. Because mm. <coughs> I, I think that that is one of the games that I would put up as a piece of art. Well, it's, it's like an anti game. It's an anti game, yeah. which isn't yeah. really good for pr- an anti game, which was free to play. Yeah, like, it seems like maybe they should have just. Uh, Maybe just like make it a five buck game. They made the, <laughs> the least yeah. likely thing to profit of yeah. all time, which is literally a game that is exploiting you. Yeah. It's like, and it's about, there's no joy. Like it's, no, it's, no. it's go mine the things and put it here. Oh, yes. you, you want to use this machine? Wait in the queue. <laughs> That's like, amazing. It, it's, it, the game shouldn't uh, exist. And I'm so, I'm so happy <laughs> that they made it. So good. Um, man, there's this big game that sort of like audio, mul- uh, audio mulch. That's a, audio program audio surf ish yeah. sort of like going along lanes thing and like okay and you're a spaceship and it starts like going through 3d and everything yeah. like, oh this looks really cool uh it's called uh, invector and then um apparently they're a popular dj but man it's the worst music i've heard in my <laughs> life so i'm like i'm not paying attention yeah. to this game anymore <laughs> Um, Spelunky 2 was then announced okay. which made the internet go wild because people love Spelunky mm. Spelunky is fun um Man, that game was so busted when it like the very first Blunky, the free version. Yeah, which was yeah. using Game Maker. Yeah, it was yeah. barely playable. Really? It was I so. I played so many hours of that the, game. Ver- the very original one. The controls were so. It bad. was a totally different engine. Yeah, it was, like, it was yeah. real bad. Maybe it was. Yeah, then. The, the one. But it that- was a free one that I played. Oh well, maybe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I just remember playing the very, the very original one. I'm like, this game is a piece of shit. It does not control I loved well, it. Um, but it's they've the suits all out now. Mean, like modern Splunky's mm, fine. You can't um, you can't always take James's word on everything. Remember when he reviewed PUBG? He was <laughs> like, like, oh, oh, this game so many things. Doesn't uh, it doesn't really feel good. I don't think yeah. it was really good. to stick oh, with this. I, I didn't actually put it on my list, but I did load up um, Fortnite. Oh yeah, uh, because I thought you could. Well, it's free. 
And they so, crossed out 20 million players yeah. now. So I thought, I'm going to check out, yeah, Fortnite um, Battle Royale. Give this 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 mechanic and that like this genre another go. Mm-hmm. Do the game. Do the game I hate it so much. Yeah, <laughs> the game mode you didn't oh, like plus building. I hated it so much. I gave it like about three or four games, and I had one game where I got one kill. But I just found like the mode. I I got no joy. I enjoyed nothing about it. It's all like this build up to just failure. So if we've ends. learned anything from history, uh, uh, time is now to invest in Fortnite. Yeah, yeah, because uh, I'm so wrong. Because uh, <laughs> James, things. James never gets uh, it right. I was on, like, I wanted to like it too. It wasn't even like I went in with like, ah, oh, this game, this game, I, I didn't like the original, like when I played PUBG, I didn't like that. And no, it is not for James. Maybe playing with other people, it'd be more fun. Yeah. But, I don't think those games are at all for Amy. But no, I just went back and played some more Destiny and yeah. I felt better about myself. Yeah. Yes. My, my only problem with Splunky so far is mm-hmm. that no idea what Splunky 2 is going to be. Yeah. Because if it's just more Splunky, that's fine, but not that interesting mm-hmm. for something that really... Well, I mean, when we're saying games that have been like influential and like mm-hmm. landmarks, Splunky is a pretty major influence on modern gaming. It's like, well... You can't really do that again, can you? Or oh, can you? Yeah, no, maybe it'll but, be a little bit SteamWorld Dig 2 where they'll kind of push it a bit more in a narrative direction or something. Mm. I don't think... Uh, I don't know. Yeah, Let's speculate. It's, it's all about systems, so I don't yeah. really think they'll be pushing in a narrative way, but maybe... Um, maybe a little bit FTL. And also, D- Derek has been working on UFO 50, so he's got two big games mm. going on. So we'll see, we'll see. Um, then we're sort of onto the main show because that kicked off there. That was their pre-show stuff, and they uh, we've got a uh, new game, Ghost of Tsushima, uh, which is being made by um, uh, Insomnia. Okay. Who's, the, who, who's you know um, why why am I going? You're not saying Naughty Dog? Games? No, it's not Naughty no. Dog. No, um, it's uh, you know bloody. Um, why can't I think of words? Uh, molecule dream, media no, molecule. No, that's mo- media thing. molecule is, is they make they like little big so planet. They're making it, dreams. Isn't that Jack and? Oh wait, no, that's not yeah, thing. Yeah, Never mind. like you know, infamous, infamous developers. Oh, sucker oh, punch. Yeah. Yeah. Sucker punch is what yep. I want. Sucker okay. punch is the word I yep. want. Cool. There we go. I'm like, I was no. reading a headline. Like, that had ins- nothing to do with it. I'm like, insult. Yeah, I was like, no, media molecule is it's a different thing. Completely different company. No, it was something along the lines of like we learn more about Ghost of Tsushima and media molecules dreams. Yes, because yeah. they announced they're going to be showing more stuff off at mm. uh, PSX in okay. December. Um, so, yeah, because uh, I, I was like saying Insomniac, it's like, no, Insomniac's doing Spider-Man. Mm. But it's another company that does sort of open world stuff. What are they? So Sucker Punch, uh, Infamous, where well, they've been quiet for a few years. Uh, so coming out, this is our new game. Uh, it's based uh, on a Mongol invasion of the island of Tsushima. It's a big open world? Uh, it's a big open world. Oh, okay, uh, interested. Uh, yes, uh, they've dropped a few a few words around like Breath of the Wildy stuff okay. and um, who knows what that's actually going to end up yeah. meaning uh, but you are a samurai and your home uh, island has been invaded by uh, Mongolians uh, and then you're basically on a revenge quest okay uh, uh, that sounds a good setting yeah, yeah uh, that sounds cool. like uh, I was like is this going to be like an open world Tenchu is this going to be that would be that would be good yeah they, they show uh, at the end um, this is mostly just a cinematic trailer and at the end they like show a moment with like running up and like smoke bombing a horse and stabbing the rider I'm like yeah yes, okay. this no, seems, that sounds cool this seems potentially good mm. Um, yeah, so a lot more to see that, but uh, yeah, certainly a team that can do open world and be fun. Good to get away from the superhero. Like, yeah, well, that's like, been, like there's been like two and a half of those now. Uh, three. And oh, a half. three. Three and a half. Because Infamous 1, 2, Second, uh, second, child, second Son, and then First Light. First Light. Yes, yeah, three yep. and a half. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Fuck you, First Light. <laughs> 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 Which was better than Second Son anyway, <laughs> so it's kind of mean to say fuck that one, but anyway. Uh, so that's cool. Uh, there was a game revealed, uh, Ori, O U R E, mm-hmm. uh, which basically looked like, "Hey, you've seen Journey, and you've seen Shadow of the Colossus. Have a game that looks momentarily pretty, but from all reports is dog shit." Really? Like, it was. It certainly has a habit of that. I'm just going, yeah. like, "End it out now!" And everyone went and bought it. I thought, "This is fucking terrible." <laughs> Sight. <Psych>. This game sucks. <laughs> so uh, I don't think I'm going to get that one. Uh, yeah. And then we hit the game that I was like, "Hey, you can check this one yeah. out." I thought it was interesting. Uh, concrete. Do you remember the second word yet? Amy, what if I go? Oh, be, be, it's a little racist. Do, 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 it's a bit racist. 
Not really. Yeah, temple? You can have three guesses. I guess Oof. temple. That that was a hint. That was a hint with three guesses. Genies? Yay! Yay! Genie, but yeah. yeah, concrete genie. Yeah. What? Okay. Yeah. I don't even remember yeah. that being the second word. Yes. That's right. Okay. Yeah. I thought it started with G anyway. Gardens yeah. works. So uh, this was a very interesting, like, again, mostly cinematic trailer. Very pretty. Trailer. So you are a young bullied boy in an mm. urban environment uh, and you get a magic paintbrush, which allows you to graffiti the world around you. With some degree of creative control from the look of it. Yeah. 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 So it looks like you have parts that you draw yeah. with, but you can draw with, draw them in sort of natural forms. Yes. Yeah. And it kind of so procedurally figures it out yeah yeah so you'll say like okay i have a i have water and i can paint water and then that water will become it will flow once i've yeah. painted it uh and then big focus on creating creatures and so it's just like okay well i draw a blob and then i put on eyes and mouth and antenna and now it's an animated creature in the world mm. that can now help me mm. and assist me in the world as i'm basically beating the shit yeah. out of by these terrible yeah cause, youth gangs because it seemed like that you couldn't ever retaliate to the bullies at least what they showed it was mm. just you were constantly being chased by the bullies yeah yeah and you have to use the monsters on the wall to evade and yeah so, like to assist you and help you uh, navigate around yeah. reach platforms and I think stuff there was like something that. with like painted like an electric one which would then activate a circuit which would then yeah. open a gate yeah, yeah. so a, a lot of I, I assume there'll be like limits on types of paint and everything and mm. then they can use that to gate certain areas and everything uh, but I thought the drawing interface was actually really cool mm. and one of those things sort of like uh, media molecule games like we mm. talked well, before it did, it did remind me a bit of kind of little big planet style yeah drawing. or uh, tear away yeah. where I'm like like there's even in a restricted system being able to put your own mark on something mm. making that snowman yeah, yeah making the snowman yeah. in, in uh, yeah. the longest night yeah. Uh, in a yeah damn it's good I Man, like, that said a lot about our personalities, didn't it? That we look at the snowmen at the end. Yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> no, I mean, like, the, the snowmen we made said yeah, a lot yeah. about our personalities. Because I had, like, the most generic, boring snowman. <laughs> and Paul had this monstrosity. Aww. <laughs> like, multi limbed and, like, yeah. just, like, just uh, bucking the convention. Good old, good old predictable James. <laughs> need, need to see what we're allowed. But it, it's, it's safe friend. to do that. It's, hmm? it's just safe. James, you don't always have to be safe. Sometimes you can take a chance. Take a chance. Take a chance. Take a chance on me. <laughs> okay. um, go team. Go Yay. team. Woo. Uh, some more PSVR. Mm. Um, a PlayLink game. Uh, and PlayLink, if this you don't remember. This is the second PlayLink game? No. Well, now um, Hidden Agenda is out in the US. Not out here. It's not out here for another two weeks or so. Um, but I'd like to sit down and play it. It's been getting mixed reviews, but that's all right. Most people are just saying that. I'm trying to remember what Hidden Agenda was. Hidden again. Agenda What's is like at- super giant, oh, super massive. Uh, so was it PAX? They said they were there. I didn't see them. Oh, okay. Like, it's a board game as well, or is it something else? Called? No, I think you just. So that. yeah, so it's a, it's a hidden hit- information game, isn't it? Kinda. So it, it's a basically. So they made. Um, uh, I'm failing on na- names again. Uh, you know, they did the the VR spinoff, A Rush of Blood. Um, oh yeah, yeah. Um, uh, yeah until game. dawn. Until dawn. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, I remember that one. Um, now where they realised that everyone was playing until dawn co-op. Yes. So they built the next game. So around. they built it around. So everyone oh, uses their phones to control yeah. the game. Oh yeah, maybe yeah. Uh, but then you also have hidden motives. When's it out? Uh, it's already out overseas, and it's out here in a week or two. Oh, okay. Just in time for Cheryl to get back. I want to play the shit out of that. Yeah. Uh, so uh, uh, I can make, briefly mention the complaints about it. Mm. It's a two-hour-long game. You have to have your phone on all the time, so it'll drain most of your battery. Mm-hmm. Fair. Fair. Um, and it's a two-hour game, so it's not long enough to be a huge experience, but it's a little bit too long to just a- actively play with some friends. Oh, okay. Yeah. that's Maybe they should have split into episodes or something. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I think for who I want to play it with, which is you guys. Yeah. A couple we'll of hours. fine with that. Mm. Yeah. I thought it'd be okay. Um, but yeah, I really yeah. enjoyed it until dawn. Yeah. So, so this, cool. this other PlayLink game coming out is called Erica. And you mm. can touch her world. And the funny thing about this Make game... Make that sound so Ooh. filthy. Oh, God, this, this trailer, I was getting excited. Yeah, tra- the trailer kind of made me think it was filthy. But it seems to be sort of a thriller-ish type thing. Aww. So it's all FMV. <gasps> is it back? It's back. Is this FMV, FMV, FMV is back? back. Oh, yeah. Do we have to change our name again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. we're back to FMV games. <laughs> um, what, I, what I just loved is that when it started up, I'm just like, I have that mode of like, are these graphics really good? Or... <laughs> Or is it really badly shot? I can't tell. <laughs> it's like, ah, it's cheaply shot. There we go. Now we understand. Um, yeah, so it seems it basically seems to be a choose your adventure. Okay. Yeah, cool. Um, which we can get. Nice. Like, let's jump forward to the ultimate choose your own adventure. Mm. Detroit Become Human. 
Oh, now, yeah. Did either of you watch this now quite controversial trailer? No. no. So I've actually been staying in the dark about this game. Mm. I don't know too much about it, I mainly because saw- I don't like David Cage. I just saw it. Um, Pax, they had the humans behind yeah. the um, glass, I, which was pretty cute. What, what I cool. thought, because they, they had they had actors there pretending to be robots behind the glass for all day. They changed out a few times. Now I never like looked at them, so I thought they had actual like just basic automatons no. that were just no, going, no, they were people. And then yeah, and then like someone's like, no, Paul, look at them. And at the time, the guys were going, <laughs> I'm like, oh fuck, I'm an idiot. They're yeah. actual people. You know, I I feel like. <laughs> I feel like I've been harsh on David Cage. Oh, yeah. I think, uh, I think everyone is. Because the last game I really gave him a go was Heavy Rain. Mm-hmm. And I didn't like it. And was I haven't tried David? Beyond Two Souls. Was it David? So, no. Was it- Jason! 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 Jason. <laughs> um, so Jason. Yeah, I haven't actually given him a chance since Heavy Rain. So maybe I need to give him another go. Mm. See, David Cage is one of those things. He wants to make movies, but if you made movies, they'd be too terrible to, be, <laughs> yeah. uh, to, to yeah. have any success. In the game world, he's given a lot of leeway, but the truth is, and we actually were talking about um, uh, Fahrenheit uh, down at PAX. It was mm. one of the weird games we were talking about. Rick brought it up. Um, for all their failings, and the overall narrative is generally bad, and a lot of things aren't handled with a lot of nuance, and I sometimes think that's um, a shitty complaint because there's a lot of things in the world that aren't handled with mm. great nuance, and why do we have to single out David Cage for that? Because he, he tries to be ambitious, and he's not quite capable enough for it so it's yeah. a criticism but not a great one but the thing is if you, the individual things in the way he does stuff are super effective um, like, like we talk of the intro to Fahrenheit a lot with the murder scene and everything it's a fantastic yeah, scene there's good. great scenes all throughout that the way that he uses um, his QTE influences the way that, like interacting with the world mm. influenced so many games better games <laughs> but if, if taken as like the individual parts David Cage has done some great mm. stuff now, I'm probably going to make fun of Detroit Become Human Are you going to get it? I still haven't played through Beyond. I own it. I still uh, haven't played through it. Um, partly because I was giving that game so much shit prior to maybe, release. Maybe we need to get, get Detroit and we can play it like good friends. Yeah, maybe. I, I, I think, yeah. It, like, And people are saying that this trailer is tone deaf because it uses, um, uses uh, domestic abuse and child abuse. Uh, specifically as a narrative device mm. and that is wrong if you're not good at it i'm like i don't know if that's fair to be to be to give him pain with such a brush that this is just being used exploited in such an exploitative way that it has no value as a storytelling mechanic mm. certainly um, well I, individuals I, I think can take a lot of offense to such I, things i guess it, it, it's is he using it in a way that is diminishing it or is it just he's using it no, he, he's using it as a, as a cheap shortcut to drama. Uh, okay, yeah, okay. I can see, like... But... Yeah. Also, and that's, the I whole guess thing's melodrama. Yeah, and I guess when you it's talk like, about it's not nuanced, but it's effective. Well, yeah, I guess it is. Yeah. yeah I, it's, like, it's like if you put a stereotype in something, it's like, well, it's a shortcut to us knowing what that character mm-hmm. is. Yeah, it's lazy. Yeah, it's it's killing the dog. But also, I mean, the thing is, this is a trailer. So you can say like, okay, bad choice is a trailer because you're devoid of context. Mm. But also, we're devoid of context. Yeah. So, but basically that, that scene is you as a robot and this violence is happening in the house and you have the choice to break your programming. And I think the trailer is effective in showing what the game is in that it just constantly shows splits. Splits, yeah. splits. It's like you could do this, you could, do, you could go through this, you could do this. And then like zooms out showing the whole map of possibilities in that space. Okay. That, that sounds fun. Yeah. It's just like showing what he wants to do. Show, it's like, I think that what it's trying to show mechanic wise is quite effective. Mm. Tone wise. Yes. I can see why it can put some yeah. people off, but. Uh, do we have a date on this one yet? I don't know. I don't know. Sometime. Again, like. I, uh, I don't, I don't care, but I do care, mm. so I don't pay that much close attention. Um, yeah. Well, I think the if I'm going to give Cage another go, it, at least thematically, it's more interesting to me than Beyond is. Oh, I think it's so so fucking rude. It's like, oh, robots fighting for yeah. equal rights. Hey, yeah, I, I, where'd I, you come up with that yeah. idea? Well, I find like it, the '60s. I find it more interesting <laughs> than the. I can't even remember what what Beyond was. Uh, She had a ghost ghost, in her brain? Yeah, like a ghost ghost friend. She had a ghost friend? Yeah. I don't don't care. There were some good scenes. And then some bad scenes. (laughs) I haven't finished. (laughs) You saying that David Cage is a mixed bag, Paul? He's certainly a mixed bag. (laughs) He's a bag of all sorts of crackers. Uh, And he thinks very highly of himself. Which really, I mean, I think that's what puts people off the most. Ah, it's the arrogance. It's the arrogance and and sees himself as such a leader in the industry. Mm-hmm. 
and he's not entirely wrong. Well, if you he, want to look at the influence of like quick time events, especially, yeah, you know, like that actually was a major influence. But he also history. sees himself as like a great storyteller, and uh, he is not. No, that is <laughs> no. But I mean, hey, sometimes you need an ego to get shit made. Yeah, yeah. If I if I just disliked everything made by someone with an ego, I'd have to turn down a lot of shit I like. <laughs> Goodbye, Kubrick. <laughs> he knew what he wanted. And that was Malcolm McDowell. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was my favorite story um, about like Clockwork Orange. Because, you know, Kubrick always had a, a thing like he was such a... A lot of people called him like a terrible person. But he wasn't. He was, for, from all intents and purposes of a human being, he was fine. He just treated everything like as a job. Mm. So because he's a director, he would, in that case, work with Malcolm McDowell. And they'd talk every day. And, like, oh, yeah. and then the film finished. And... Malcolm called and he's like why are you calling me it's like aren't we friends like no it's a job it's like I had to be friendly with you because we needed the rapport it's just like that's why he was a dick to some other actors because they needed that relationship for the film it's like yeah it wasn't it wasn't him personally it was him professionally it's like yeah and you can see that as a dick but yeah I think it has more nuance than that and then eventually like because I heard Malcolm talking about it in relatively recent times he's going like that really hurt me as like a young actor but when I grew up I like yeah I got it (laughs) (laughs) Ah, uh, maybe he just became a dick too. <laughs> I don't know. I can't really say. Don't we um, all, Paul? Don't we all? Yeah. Eventually. One day, hopefully. Um, I don't know what that's trying to apply. <laughs> <laughs> um, Monster Hunter World uh, is uh, getting a open beta on PS4 and I believe PC as well. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, but not as I've heard, fuck Xbox. Yeah. Uh, it's pretty much from the sound of it. It's the exact same demo we played at PAX. I was sad we'll be able that to sit I down and play, play it. Oh, you should definitely give it a go. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. very accessible. Yeah. Um, and that's out soon-ish. Uh, also, uh, on the PS4, you're going to be able to play as... Um, no, I'm missing out the character name from Unraveled now. Not from Unraveled. <laughs> God, Yanni. Everything's... No, not Yanni. No, I was... Um, Tearaway, which I then mixed up with Unraveled. Yes. Because a toy is the main character in Tearaway. I'm already mixing up. But in Horizon, isn't her a- name? Aloy. Aloy. Yeah, Aloy. A- Aloy. There we yeah. go. You can play as her in Monster Hunter World if oh, you nice. want. Oh, yeah. She'd fit in that world. She's fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. she'll be fine. fine. Yeah. Um, Call of Duty World War 2 has got some DLC yeah, on PS4 yeah hey, it's going to sell it will whatever. it always fine. does they're big I'm productions actually, yeah I, like, I haven't I, I didn't mind the last COD I hear the campaign's not good yeah well I I liked COD because it was getting more and more just batshit crazy yes and now they're really pulling back on the batshit crazy and I'm less interested the most interesting thing I've heard and one of the things I've heard is probably going to be a trend going forward is that uh, the lobby system is now a uh, open social space oh so okay yeah you're yeah. on like a you're yeah. on like the beach encampment and yeah. other players are running around oh. and like you can be doing stuff while queuing up for a game okay i like that and stuff like yeah. that That's and cool. seeing other players and communicating even going up to like the wreck table and playing old um mm. activision games on it oh that's cute yeah, yeah. um it, and and the, yeah yeah i mean the social space in destiny is fun i, I enjoy it it's other people it's good to see them i hate other people yeah Get I out. do anything with them I want to do everything with them. That's a problem. They say no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh no! I'm getting all up Weinstein up here. <laughs> There's also Destiny Two DLC coming. Yes, yeah. yes. Oh, yeah. I skipped that, didn't I? Yeah. yeah sorry, my, the, my uh, eyes just glaze over those yeah, words. Yeah, the uh, the Trials of Osiris, I think. Oh, Curse of Osiris. Curse of Osiris, yeah. December five. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I still, I'm still playing it. Like, I still play the PvP. I enjoy it. Yeah. So, sure, more? I actually, I? I've even started watching a YouTuber who reviews Destiny guns. Okay, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> no, I might eventually buy it on PC, I, maybe I, around Christmas. I have never really taken to a YouTube personality that mm-hmm. much, uh, but this particular guy, I don't mind him. That's cool. He's bless you. He does, yeah. He's got a certain uh, energy and, yeah. and kid friendliness to him. I think it's a, like he won't swear or anything. It's kind Aww. of funny, but there's, just like, there's something about his tone where it's like safe. I guess it's it's like how people like um, Dan TDM. Like he's, I think he's a little bit the same, but I think he's generally aimed at people younger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Doesn't I he play Minecraft? I've I know I've heard of him. Yeah, Dan TDM. He's he's yeah. He's fine. It's it's like it's aimed for kids. But yeah. It's, What's most YouTube these yeah. days? Yeah. Not us. Not us aimed at kids. Fuck those kids. Fuck <laughs> fuck those C bombs. Butts. They're butts. Butts. Hmm. That's that's as rude as I go. Remember. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
That's pretty good. I uh, saw some more Spider-Man, which is made by Insomniac, not Sucker yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh yes. God of War, they showed more of. It was some combat. It's, I, I, I'm going to be interested to see how God of War goes. Oh, with this, with this new new setting? I like the setting is the thing I like the most yeah. about it. I just like... In a, yeah. <laughs> I think like in a post in a post, uh, post post what world? Uh, post Hellblade Satsuna world? Yeah, that's uh, no Senyo, not Satsuna. Yeah, that's it's, it's a different thing. Oh, man, I'm mixing up all um, the stuff tonight. Yeah, like, I'm I'm expecting it to be more God of War. Yeah, that's the sort of thing. I'm like, yeah. if it's going to be God of War, well, am I just going to be bored by the 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 walking and focus on narrative when I'm still not going to be necessarily yeah, engaged I, by I it? Yeah, I actually wouldn't mind it to go a little bit more Horizon Zero Dawn. Mm. Like, I think they could push Kratos a bit. A bit further, yeah. It is. I, I, I still just don't know exactly what it's going to be. Yeah. Um, and I think for a while they didn't know either. I think it's trying to clarify mm. now. Um, then I was kind of surprised. Shadow of the Colossus showed, and I haven't actually looked at the new version of Shadow of the mm. Colossus because I just figured they're just uprising it. I don't realize it's a remake, mm. and it's like really different. <laughs> oh, like, so is it like different bosses and things? Or? No, the bosses and the structure of the game is the same. The general gameplay is the same, and um, it just runs at a frame rate that's not. 25 no. yes it runs at a smooth frame rate uh they've also the art's completely redone so it's like there are forests now mm. and stuff like okay. they have the density of detail in the world well, that was not there yeah, before i mean they're they're a game like shadow of the colossus i actually i'm all for them now the technology is where it is probably getting something closer to what their original vision was oh yeah so uh, they're, they're fixing up the controls and doing stuff like even uh one very minor thing they're showing the gameplay footage and he sort of jumps at the horse and gets on it i'm like not that easy to get on the horse in the, in the original game yeah. you had to come at it from the right angle at the side <laughs> and it was a little bit when i went and replayed it i'm like man this game has some awkward bits mm. that are just from the time it's like fix it up uh apparently they are going to include basically the exact same old control scheme if you want if you really to want but um they're probably i'm going to i'm going to say it here a better control <laughs> scheme for the people that are playing it and don't yeah. want to deal with that bullshit um i saw that I'm like, oh i will i will triple dip now it yeah is, this um, is gonna be your third purchase <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah 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 and, yeah, I, and yeah. i'll come around and watch you play it yeah, I mean, hell, maybe you'll even enjoy playing it this time. Maybe, maybe yeah. the controls. So are a it's just going to be on PS4. Yeah, just PS4. Yeah, I'm going to yeah. get a PS4 soon. I think. Yeah, you should. It's good. Good console. Yeah. It's good console. Yeah. You know, Kony Two is coming out soon. It looks really fun. Well, it played quite nicely I'll as well. On PC. Actually, uh, on you know, Kony Two news. Oh, from was PAX. it PC as well? Yeah, it's PC. Oh well, uh, there we go. <laughs> they said, um, oh, you know, the release date, uh, which is earlyish next year, and they said, oh, PC is going to be a little bit later later though it might be up to two weeks later oh no i'm like two weeks <laughs> <laughs> guess yeah. if it's gonna be smooth yeah it's like oh whatever yeah i'm not I mean, desperate to yeah. play it yeah i mean i can wait two weeks i mean people waited what two months for destiny mm. yeah long enough to basically yeah. get burnt out on if you had it on ps4 yeah, yeah, yeah if you are it's like it'd be interesting to see how the sales are affected that way um and then last up the most controversial trailer of the day mm. last of us part two which was, oh, yeah. as many people called it, a murder porn trailer. People are silly. Uh, where, well, it's very, very out of no context, full mm. on violence, mm. where humans are just smashing other people with hammers and shit like that. Yeah, there's, there's hobbling of arms. And, yes. Yeah. Um, that said, I mean, the pretty obvious implication is the woman you know, that's under threat of being cut open is Ellie's mom. Mm. And this is like prequel material, which actually gives it a lot of context of what that stuff is. Mm. But then maybe I'm wrong yeah. and it's just some random but violence. But it seems it seems like it has more content than people will say. The character those. design on the lead is real good. Like she's real muscly and buff. But you she, like a muscly lady? Well, I just think like it's, you, you don't often... I do. <laughs> you don't, a strong you lady. don't often see like really muscly built women. Yeah, you games. don't. Like, and she just looks like she works out. It's not like she's ridiculously proportioned. That's why I but- like uh, Zaya in Overwatch. She's the really cool Russian lady. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Super buff. Yeah. It's not quite that far. <laughs> no, yeah, but no. it's yeah, but a I, thing. I like the character design. Like, yeah. it, it was good to see that kind of that body type you don't see represented yes. very often. So it's good. It's nice. I've got some websites for you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'll show you do, buddy. Um, yeah, it's real, real violent. Um, I think it was. I thought it, was, like, it looked in tone with the game. My like, problem is that I know it's a violent game. I know it's a violent world. Mm. I know it's sad and depressing. I know that the Wonder Dog can make nice looking characters mm. in, in cutscenes. I would like to know what the game is. <laughs> I'm just expecting it to be more Last of Us. It's like more 
more uncharted. I'm. I don't think it's not. Well, when you look at where they were going, especially with um, the Lost Legacy with Uncharted, they added way more open environments. Okay. Well, I'd like it to be more open. Yeah. Um, and they were saying that that's part of like the design that they're experimenting with mm. and everything, and that was part of experiment had to do with Last of Us Part Two. It's like, well, are we extrapolating then that this is going to be less of a linear world? Mm. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, I expect it'll still be a linear story, but it might be a bunch of open hubs or something. Yeah. Um, well, this is the sort of stuff I want to know. It's like, I want, yeah. I want, are we going to be as hev- heavily reliant on stealth? Are we, what are the mecha- hopefully? What not. mechanic changes are we looking at? These are the things that I want to know yeah. about the game. But we'll find. It's like it's like when we get stuff on Red, Red Dead Redemption Two. I'm like, yeah, I know you can make a pretty looking western <laughs> town. Show me what the fucking yeah. game is. Um, we will find that out plenty before yeah. it's released. But it just to keep the. It's keep the people that are really excited I, to just I want Red remind Dead them it exists. To, to push online more. Yes and no. I, that's what I'd like. Out I, of it. I don't I don't want it to be like freaking GTA 4, 5. No, no, no. I don't I want it to be grounded. But what I would like is... Oh, no. I don't mean grounded. I mean their goddamn online system was unbearable to use. It took me 20 minutes oh, to get into yeah, a goddamn yeah. game. Yeah. Like, the whole like Rockstar Social Club and like mm. just layering on... Like no. you had to go through like three gateways to get into the goddamn thing. And then no, I, was like, I, I want it to be yeah. a little more Destiny where it's like, I'm just going to play the game. Yes. And it's augmented by other people. Yes. That, come that, that is what I'd like to yeah. do, but I haven't seen Rockstar do it yet. Yeah. Um, so that'd be, it's like, I really, really would like to do one of those heists on GTA five online. Mm. I have no idea how to. Yeah. I have no idea. I, I think you've got <laughs> yeah. to actually like, I play think you, and get up a certain- you have to actually go and like set them up and get resources. And, oh yeah. yeah. But yeah. I think you've actually got to have like a certain amount of resources to even start doing oh, it, yeah. which means I yeah. have to put work in before I can go <laughs> yeah. play a game with well, my friends. Cause I did try to play GTA online a little mm. while ago and I had no idea what was going on and I achieved absolutely nothing. Awesome. It, is, yeah. it is so obtuse that game. I, I mean, people it love it. It's making it, it money hand money. over fist, yeah. but, but anyway, for new people, not, not that accessible. No. So yeah. Um, so that's last of us part two. Mm. <laughs> um, it's, it's yeah. a game that's coming I need to play the first one. Trailer, I like the trailer. I, I didn't think it was... I thought it was perfectly in tone with what that game is. Mm. Like, I didn't think it was controversial. It's what Last of Us is. It's just... I, mean, it, I think the thing is more of just... The only thing we know of this game... A game which was ostensibly liked because of the characters. Mm. Not to show the characters. And show... Uh, other than us reading into it. Other than that, a completely devoid of context scene of a bunch of people getting beat up and killed. Mm. It's like, okay, not saying it's out of turn of the game, but I'm just saying, is this like, it's it's o- use, is this is about trailer? the only messaging you have out yeah. so far, other than the first trailer of Ellie playing the guitar, mm. which is probably a better trailer, really. It got people psyched up on like, oh, they're back and they're angry. Oh, mm. who's going on? Yeah. Um, yeah. Whether it was the right choice for a trailer, I don't know, mm. but I was still fine with it. Oh, well. Um, and that was most, most of Paris Games Week for Sony. Um, do to do. Shall we quickly run through the rest of the news? And yeah, go things? for it. Go go for sounds it. good. Wow's getting classic servers. Oh, yeah. It is. Yeah, actually, it is pretty exciting. I, this, um, there was the the, uh, the expansion, the new DLC announced. Mm. It was... Um, Battle for Azeroth. Ba- Battle for Azeroth, I think yeah. it's called. Uh, I did not think I'd be excited for a WoW expansion again. But they did. They made, they made me excited. Like, they've... I think they're, they're closing out all their lore. Like, the, the Legion's being dealt with. Paul's tuning out. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> This is really why we put the TV on so we can start yeah, playing. Well, yeah, well, Warcraft yeah. interests me. I've just never well, played it. The problem is, like, the last expansion, it's gotten so lore heavy. Mm. Even someone who's, like, vaguely familiar with what's going on, I felt like this is not for me. Like, yeah. it's, I just don't know. The last DLC I enjoyed was the Panda one. Yeah. Because it was the most standalone. Like, regardless of what you think about the pandas, it's like, yeah. it was a thing, a story you can enjoy without yeah. knowing anything else. Uh, so I'm real excited to see them. Go, you know what? We're going to go back to Horde vs. Alliance. We're yep. just going to go back it's going I to be saw a new the, thing all the cinematics and it yeah. looks amazing cinematics but that's just good. cinematics um, and then also having at some point the classic servers where they're going to roll yeah. back to vanilla that's cool too yeah I, I, that'll make a lot of people yeah. happy yeah. yeah it's okay Paul you can stop the, playing the um, Overwatch stuff looks really fun the new hero looks oh yeah there's a new like, hero out yeah I'm uh, excited as a healer main yeah, so what's her? Um, so she's basically a like Anna, you know, the yeah. Egyptian one. Yeah. yeah. Um, so she's basically like a mix between Symmetra, the microwave lady. Because she's beams. changed a lot now, hasn't she? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So um, mix between that, a healer, and what was the other one? And David Bowie, basically. <laughs> I just couldn't yeah. think of the third one. So like yeah. David Bowie. I can see that. Yeah. yeah it's she's gorgeous. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There was a. Uh, no Diablo 3 news either. No. That was like out of BlizzCon. I'm talking about BlizzCon now, Paul. I love BlizzCon. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's a real shift. 
Uh, yeah, no Diablo, yeah, um, Diablo 3 well, news. Overwatch has a uh, Blizz, not BlizzCon, but Cause, I think it was Blizzard World, was it? Yeah. Well, I think... Map? It was, yeah, well, yeah, it's, it's got Blizz, Blizz World, so it's yeah. going to be, yeah, the map. That's Heroes of the Storm is getting some... Getting Hanzo Hans from... And, uh, Hanzo and some other character. Um, I'm not sure which one. It's oh, Genji. Starcraft. Starcraft is Genji and Hanzo, because yeah. they've got some free bullshit. There was already Genji and Hanzo, <laughs> yeah. I think. No, already Genji, I think. Oh, so, I think Genji so, was already in it. So, I'm not sure. I don't play it. So much bullshit for everyone. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, yeah, World of Warcraft. I'm excited. I'm excited for Overwatch. Yeah. New new heroes. New heroes. Yeah. Woo. Just playing with my balls. Okay. Yeah. Yes, you you do that quite a bit. Yeah. I hear. How's um, how's your hat going? I'm a Mario. Do it. Get the get the thing. I got a cappy pin while I was at PAX. I don't have it here, but it's Aww. cute. I don't believe you. Well, I'll bring it next week. I like how there's like a half Let's Play going on in the YouTube video <laughs> <laughs> the moment. <laughs> and Paul's like, they, yeah, they only get like a third of the screen. Yeah, yeah. And if you're listening on the podcast, and you get absolutely nothing. And it's super kind of yeah. blurry yeah. looking. On the... <laughs> He's trying, what are you trying to do there, buddy? Just put uh, just some screenshots. There we go. <laughs> go and doing your... put it on the corner. There so we go. I'm a Mario. <laughs> I love these screenshot modes. There, it's, it's on best. the screen now. I love this tiara. It's on the screen. Hey. It's a me. It is a you. Oh, I got killed. Well, not killed. <laughs> I just got touched. You got the hurt. I got the touch. I need a, need a permadeath mode. No. <laughs> 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 I would die and then I would be sad. Okay. Um. So uh, we've stopped your sidetrack. So now back to Paul. <laughs> Okay, how's this list going? All right. Okay, um, so yeah, the classic servers are happening. Yeah, um, I think it's which, cool. Because they sort of cl- shut down a lot of people doing yeah, their well, own. Yeah, so people nice are running, running their own. And, yeah. Okay, bad news. Uh, developers of Hob and Torchlight have been shut down. Yep. Not surprised. Not surprised that happened. Um, but sad news. It's uh, mm. Rooney Games, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Barjo oh, from, oh, from Spawn Points. Um, gone. Yeah, he went and to become a streamer. Yeah, yeah. He's been doing yeah. he's been doing his Bajo streams for a while. Yeah, right? Also, but he's I can't become call him full time <laughs> I know you can't, but that's just Yeah. Yeah. I only know him as that. You can apply for his old job. Yes, I was thinking about it, but then I realized I have no personality. <laughs> That is a that is a great shame. <laughs> <laughs> um, we've got some, had some brief Bubsy news. Should we do the Bubsy news? No. Go for it, man. Do Did the- you know that Bubsy was originally supposed to be a Cheetos game? I, you know, I I, I wouldn't I didn't, be surprised, but I, it in no way surprises me. Okay, that's all done then. Uh, <laughs> Dead by Daylight, yep. the uh, survival horror, a um, asymmetrical um, multiplayer game, is mm. adding Freddy Krueger as a bad guy. Okay, cool. Uh, so now it can compete directly with Friday the Thirteenth. Friday the Thirteenth. <laughs> Can't we get them together, please? Mm-hmm. Maybe such a good movie. They need that follow up. They need Freddy vs. J- Jason vs. Ash. Yeah, yes, good. that needs that should happen. I need to watch those Let's movies. See. Okay, uh, two cool bits of Assassin's Creed news. One Aww. small one. Uh, they've just launched now. At first, uh, they're doing these sort of weekly DLC things where each mm. week you get to fight a different god. And these are like oh. Shadow of the Colossus style level, like holy shit, giant creature fighting it, and you get like legendary drops from it. Uh, oh, now you're saying things that make me think I should be playing Assassin's Creed. One thing they point out is that whilst it's only one a week, they will repeat later. So oh, if you're okay. not, because you really need to be level forty to do it. Ah, uh, see, so, because Assassin's Creed is one of these things where like I was gonna get it, and then I thought, eh, you know what, it's sounding very Assassin's Creedy, and I was hoping it'd be yeah. a little less Assassin's Creedy. But it'll get cheap eventually and I'll pick it up. So hopefully, they, yeah. Yeah, if they just didn't have the loot, I'd be way more interested. If they just have more loot, I'd be even more interested. Okay. But the other bit, the awesome, yeah. cool bit of Assassin's Creed news. Mm-hmm. So, you know, uh, there was a big um, big news release of the week that they discovered um, uh, the Great Pyramid. Um, oh, that, yeah. That, yeah that's that's a new a, cavity. That in they the, found this new the cavity period. there. Yeah, it's like, yeah. oh, what was it there for and everything? It's in the fucking game. Because, oh. so, because a scholar has been theorizing about that cavity and they took the scholar in his world. So Assassin's Creed is ahead of the curve uh, and they have the, the discovery that only came out last week <laughs> in the goddamn game. That's cool. That is yeah. actually pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> I think they make it a treasure room or something. It's yeah. Like, oh, it's yeah. Not it's probably just room, some collapsed region of the tunnel or something. I don't think it's collapsed. I think it's yeah. part of the structure. Yeah. And whether it was used for anything practical or not, I guess yeah, we'll, we'll find, find out. out. Science they'll, tells they'll, us. They'll figure it out with their, their ultrasound or let's whatever just, the hell they do Let's it. just speculate on more things it could be. They just, just put lots and lots of goop on it. And yes, just, it is the pudding chamber. <laughs> <laughs> the pudding chamber. <laughs> <laughs> it would be 
Barry with all his pudding take it to the afterlife. That'd be good. Uh, speaking of Assassin's Creed, none of us have played it. Uh, have we all been enjoying Wolfenstein 2? Definitely. Oh, I really want to. The, yeah, these are all games that came yeah. out the well, same day as Mario I, Odyssey. Yeah, see, I, I thought about getting Wolf 2, but I haven't played Old Blood yet, and I feel like I'll enjoy Old Blood a lot too. So I'm going to play that first. Sounds good. <coughs> it's okay, James. Yes, thanks, buddy. Don't cry. I've had a cough. Okay, um, so should we talk about some more video games? Yeah, I'll talk about some. Okay, uh, shall James, why don't you tell me about More Fight? Okay, yeah, so More Fight uh, is, I'm going to say... No Man's Sky on a budget. It's kind of... <laughs> I, I'd say No Man's Sky crossed with Metro Prime on a budget. Yeah. Cause, a real yeah. budget. <laughs> so, uh, Morphite uh, has a very lo-fi art style. Mm-hmm. Very low poly. Uh, with a colour palette, which starts off as basically CGA. Mm. Uh, with kind of like your purples and your cyan, your magentas yeah, yeah, yeah. and your cyans. Yeah. And yeah. I, I'd say pastel color, but in that, in yeah, that color, it's got, color area. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and I, I quite like it. Like, I think it's got a very kind of distinctive. Oh, I think visually it's quite Visually, nice. yeah. Uh, and yeah, you play a character who's on some space station and needs to go out and explore looking for something called Morphite. Uh, I haven't really figured out too Jump much about what it is yet. There's a, there's Kit Kat. There's a little bot which kind of follows you around. It looks kind of cute. That's cute. Uh, the, it, it kind of looks as you go down as first person so you have stuff where you're, you're uh, going on a planet and doing some it's, it's kind of like I think some of them are procedurally generated but the worlds that I've been on have been fairly linear kind of walking yeah. through I, a temple I don't think the worlds like are procedurally that. generated I think you might be able to jump around on lots of different planets I'm not totally yeah. sure uh, yeah so that's the universe sort of is pretty it. open in it yeah you like you can go to planets yeah and there's things like you have to get like quest. a heat suit before you can go down hot planets and yeah. kind of things like that um, the when you go down the planet, you, you scan things. That's where it gets a little bit um, No Man's Sky. Yeah. Like, you go down and scan things. Yeah. And then, then they become a currency you can kind of sell off later. Yeah. Uh, I don't mind the shooting in it. Like, it's it's okay. You hate the shooting? So, the shooting... I don't want to claw my fingers off. Oh, I, I don't... Well, so the shooting works by you you hold down uh, the left bumper mm-hmm. and you lock on to whatever it is. Sometimes. So, <laughs> most of the time. You lock on to, mm. to whatever it is. I'll give it 60%. Uh, but this is where they should have gone more Metroid and actually had you strafe around it and, and do something like that. Yeah. Uh, but it's enough that like I find the shooting is easy. I can never feel frustrated. Well, because it didn't was lo- wasn't locking on to things, because it only locks on to some things. Yeah. Because... Only some things are shootable. Well, there's some things... And there's nothing that really tells you what is and what isn't. Yeah. Um, There's some things that you can shoot crates and things like that, and you might not lock onto those. So when it comes to... Oh, yeah, but there's also... One type of crate might be shootable, and another Mm. type of crate will not be shootable. Um, So at first, I didn't realize there was lock-on, because I hadn't been able to shoot anything with it before. That button didn't do anything. Uh, So I was just using it as a first-person controller, and man, did they not make those work on the Switch. It's also on mobile... So I, I didn't I only realize after I got it on the Switch that it's also a mobile game. Maybe which, this could work on mobile. Which kind of explained the weird lock-on controls. Uh, it's like, oh, okay, so you've actually made this for a touch screen as well. So it'd be tempting to got, tempting to try it on mobile. To I see. would, say, yeah. It yeah. Also, a lot of things in the world, especially the enemies, don't have any actual collision, so they'll just pass straight mm. through you and shit. Yeah. And it's real frustrating to play. I wasn't so bad. I didn't find it too frustrating. Um, I I had like there's some jumping puzzles and things where I fell into the acid a few times, but it was okay. my, my problem with the jumping puzzles over acid was that you're like, oh, so what's the challenge of this puzzle? Well, you see that switch, shoot that switch, and the platforms will come up, and then you don't have to go in the acid. I'm like, okay, well, I hope they get more complex than this. <laughs> so I shoot the switch, platforms come up, then no, no, I'm running back out, I fall in the acid. Oh, I just took a little bit of health off. Like, oh, I could have just run across here without even shooting <laughs> yeah. switch. Didn't really make yeah, much difference yeah. in the it's acid or not. The acid I thought was, was pretty forgiving. So I'm coming off incredibly harsh in my thing yeah. because I like to come off as a dickhead. Um, I actually really like the structure of this game. As you say, it's very No Man's Sky, but with a point. Yeah. Uh, there is a narrative going through, which dialogue's a little bit wordy, but Look, it's okay. I, I'm also going to say you're best off playing with that, like the sound off. Like the actual voice acting itself, I find really off-putting. Oh, it's uh, it's yeah. not great. No, um, and I, I actually found by turning like playing with sound off, mm-hmm. I kind of enjoyed the story more. Mm-hmm. Oh, like okay. it's it's just it's distracting. Yeah, like it's, yeah. They've gone to the effort to do all the voicing, but yeah, yeah. So you got worlds, and they're sort of gating, like James was saying, like a world might be too hot to go to, so you need to get mm. a, you need to get a suit yeah, upgrade, upgrade to get that. And, yeah. So it's collecting resources on planets. 
uh, exploring. There is an overall story, finding these temples and mm. more fight and stuff like the that. The ship combat, the ship combat's a bit ho hum. I didn't really. I actually didn't run into. Yeah, ship combat. so you get the ship combat. Sometimes when you go to a planet, it'll be like, oh, there's someone's trying oh, to attack you. Yeah. Oh, Do you want to? I had yeah. dodging asteroids. Oh, uh, yeah, and I had actually some combat. Ah, I didn't uh, have any combat, and it yeah. was. Okay, like it was a bit clunky. I could have done yeah. without it. The the stuff like moving around the planet, I thought was okay. I, I I like you actually have fuel, so you can only go so far on your ship, but you can refuel as you're going along. Yeah, so you go and you go. to uh, a station but you know you have to have resources to do that. So you might get a new system, mm. not have enough money for fuel, have to go down to a planet, explore the planet, get resources. And that's where it's very No Man's Sky. That's yeah, basically yeah. The, the loop in No Man's Sky. But again, yeah, with a point. I'm mm. like, but what it what this game needed was six months to a year to polish it and make it play feel better like every every element is just like 80 percent of the way yeah i think the the moment to moment is i think varies from not so great which Mm -hmm. i'd say we like the ship combat to okay like i thought moving around the planet one of the things i thought was weird is that often uh cave uh entrances will be blocked by boulders uh and if it's one type of boulder you have to throw a grenade at them Mm. to blow them away if it's other type of boulders you can just shoot each individual rock and that's kind of good it gives you resources per rock as well if you throw a grenade at those ones, it doesn't do anything. Mm. I'm like, Whoa, how do I know what I can interact yeah, with yeah. without wasting resources just trying everything on mm. everything? It's like, why is this thing that looks basically exactly the same as that thing, why is that something yeah. you shouldn't get resources yeah. out of and, and I, that I, one isn't? I think it's the minimalistic art style. That's where it kind of, there's not a lot to differentiate between boulder blocking cave. Have, have you done any um, like protect missions? No. So I walk up to this guy just like in a hut. It's like, oh, robots are trying to kill me. Um... Help me set up these barricades and keep them away for 30 seconds or something. Mm. I'm like, okay. <laughs> so I go, okay. Immediately, yeah. like, six robots appear, like, 10 feet away from us. And um, then um, uh, there's some barricades. I go, like, oh, can I pick them up? And, like, I pick it up and then try to put it down, but it just flips over. <laughs> and five seconds later, this guy's just swarmed by robots and dead. I'm like, oh, well. Uh, my jump here is done. done. <laughs> Found another one. Pretty much even. Yeah. I, I set up the barricades before I started the mission. Yeah. It didn't make much difference. <laughs> <laughs> they just got knocked straight over. <laughs> uh, and like you have to collect ammo, but you also regenerate ammo. Yeah, if you're low, because the way you interact with the world is ammo. You yeah. have to shoot things. So yeah, when you're low on ammo, it's a sort of creep back. You yeah, never yeah, run yeah. out. I'm not sure with the, the grenades, if you always have at least one or no. it makes you... No, you have, you have to, to get actually, Yeah. One. Yeah. Um, I, I think it's just like, it, it just needed another pass. Like there's lots of stuff there. And like, I mean, if, if this, if this, cause I mean, Metro is going to be a year and a half to two years yeah. away. It's like, man, if this came out in like six months and say, Hey, here's your minimalist Metroid, mm. open world Metroid. And like, Hey, that's cool. Yeah. Which is also No Man's Sky with exploring and crafting. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. Certainly yeah. a lot of things that people are into. It takes a lot of boxes. Yeah. And I think it, 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 it does. It, yeah, you're like it pulls them off eighty percent tops. It kind of yeah. like sixty to eighty percent. Like it's yeah, mm. yeah. But at the moment, I'm just gonna wait for Metroid. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or play No Man's Sky again. No Man's Sky was down to like twelve bucks on PS4. Oh man, it, it's totally a game now too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey man, I even liked it. Was I was talking to um someone at work the other day? Like I was like, oh, I don't want it because they were hearing my opinions. Mm. I'm like, oh, I wouldn't even ask you about No Man's Sky. I'm like, why? I think it was fine. Yeah, mm. I my expectations were in check. <laughs> <laughs> and if you pay twelve bucks for it. That's a bargain. That's a bargain, yeah. man. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, also, uh, I've mentioned, uh, especially since I mentioned the in- intro, I should quickly talk about it. Uh, Don't make love came out this last Don't week. Don't make love. Uh, it okay. Is, it is a. I guess uh, it's not quite a visual novel, not quite a dating sim because it's just it's a very small game. It's a conversation between two praying mantises. Oh, about, oh yep, yeah, yeah. And you can choose to be either the male or the female. I'm taking the female in this one. I, I <laughs> only played the female so far. I need to go back and play the male. Yeah. Uh, and so it's sort of, it, it tries to pass natural text and it does an okay job here and there, but mainly you just can use positive or negative responses and just say, keep talking and there's yeah. there's really and then you also have some op- options to like either hug them or kiss them or anything but because i'm playing the woman i am basically a sexual predator mm-hmm. trying to pressure someone into sex and so i can kill them yeah oh, nice um which is a real weird headspace yeah. to be in. <laughs> and i got like i sent you guys a, like a screenshot of some of my text because at the end it shows you the whole thing yeah. you can scroll mm. through it and i'm it's did, like did what you- are you thinking about baby it's like eating your delicious head you want to kill me don't you it's like no, baby, no. <laughs> like, let's let's not talk about it. Let's just <laughs> and like and I, I got a little bit tired of trying to 
like I was trying to role play, but I was also trying to be silly. But yeah. Like, um, and because it doesn't really respond specifically to what you're saying, I eventually just did fall into like the positive negative prompts mm. and thing. But it was still like an entertaining thing. Mm-hmm. Um, How long is it? Uh, from se- it took me about 15 minutes okay, for a play a little, yeah. short little thing. So the fact that it's like eight bucks is like, uh, it's real. Sp- oh, I see. I thought it was an itchio thing. No, no, no. It's a paid thing. Uh, like I was sent a code for it. So yeah. I'm. It the price was great for me. And yeah. I think it was an interesting thing, and I think it's um like I, I uh, recommended it to our friend Kim who does blush box mm. and sex yeah. games or anything because I think it's very interesting. Whether yeah. it's worth money to many people is a very different mm. question, yeah. uh, but certainly something I would put up for like for demonstration yeah. for an exhibition or something. Uh, it's a very interesting space, and now I need to go and play as like. The, the victim yeah. that, that still wants to do it. Yeah, <laughs> it's like oh, I really, that's a very different experience. I isn't really it? want to, but I know it's not going to end well. Yeah. I saw I saw some other praying mantis on yeah. the way, yeah. and she was killing him. Yeah. <laughs> also, apparently, um, praying mantises don't actually kill their partner most oh, of the what? time. Really? Apparently, yeah. it's like the lemmings lie. Is it? Uh, not so much. It does happen, but primarily only in captivity. Mm. Yeah. Okay. That's uh, that's a potentially false fact I heard today. Yeah. So uh, I'm not claiming yeah. to be an expert. One of these facts is false. Yeah, one of, one of these two facts is incorrect. Uh, if <laughs> so you, up to you, listener. If you could write to bits, please, at eight and a half bit and tell us which fact is correct, that would be great. Yeah, sort of on that topic, um, I actually... <laughs> yes. <Aww. laughs> I, I, I like to see where this is going. I Aww. killed my boyfriend last week. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's still alive. Don't worry. <laughs> He was delicious. Yeah, he'll he'll one day appear on the show. <laughs> That's good. Um, yes, we, I I went so, and saw the blush box thing at PAX, and yeah, yeah, I yeah. really enjoyed it. Um, I went and played One Night Stand, which was basically a one night stand visual novel. So you wake up next to a strange woman, and you can decide, oh, am I going to leave or am I going to stay? It it's a, honestly it's a little makes bit no similar difference, to something like this, where it's like a conversation is the game. Yeah, yeah. It it was nice. Um, and then we played gentle jousting with actual dildos. Oh yeah, I heard about that. That was that was. I um I feel I feel if they want to do it next time, I think we need to get um the geeky sex toy people up in Brisbane. Yes. Oh, we think yes. we, need, we need to work on. The problem was they were just using joysticks underneath a silicon dildo. Oh, so that's what they were doing. Um, okay. Yeah, yeah, they just put it. In, but the problem is that dildos are actually quite heavy, which meant that they just had flo- like yep. they just maximum <laughs> flop. The, there wasn't enough resistance in the stick, so we need to get strong sticks with yep. strong strings, and then custom do something on top. Yeah. And that's how we get there. <laughs> I'll send an email to them. I will. We I need will. to. Well, we we were going to have them on the show, and then they pulled out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but yeah, I mean, they, they that was back when they like blew up with their Pokemon yeah. series, yeah, 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 and they're yeah. like, "Look, we got too many orders. We I can't know, come out." Um, one of Sam's friends at work actually has a Squirtle on his desk. What, as in the dildo? The, yeah, <laughs> that's um, <laughs> on his desk. You yeah, say at work? Okay. I mean, like I'm all pro sex, but um, <laughs> seems like there are lines. Yeah, yeah. and that, that is, is one of them. That's one of them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll just stick to the Pikachu butt plug. Yes. It's, um, eh, it's, nah. much, it's much friendlier for, for, the, <laughs> for the whole workplace to get in on. The squirtle was it's, cute. It's, it's more more concerning when it disappears from the desk for a while. <laughs> no, it's concerning when it comes back. <laughs> <laughs> he also has a um, pigeon body pillow from Hat of a Boyfriend, so he Go seems on. like a cool guy. <laughs> I haven't met him yet. Gotta fuck them pigeons. <laughs> um, Anyway, uh, so other things. Uh, also, we mentioned before, uh, playing Animal Crossing uh, oh, Pocket yeah. Camp. So I, I played a, a session of that. I oh, kind of enjoyed it. I, I, I opened it mm. and I, I did, did not really like it that much. Have you played it much? I've played it a significant amount, actually. Okay, because mm. when I started playing it, I'm kind of done with Animal Crossing. Like, every now and then, I'll go load up Animal Crossing in my 3DS. And it's like, this, this, this core loop in here, I'm done. I've never really played Animal Crossing. I don't, I, it's, it's barely a game, but for some reason, it's kind of sticky. Mm. And so when I get the mobile version, which I know is going to be monetized, I'm just not interested. See, I feel I feel like this may be a very good Animal Crossing game. Yeah. Because, as you say, barely a game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And a little bit sticky. Um, so I, I, I don't know how to quantify where I'm up to. I'm like at level six. You're tapping or trees and getting the map. Tapping trees, getting and stuff. Doing off. your quests. Now, how much um, ownership of the world do you get in Animal Crossing? Like, can you um, can you create much other than putting stuff in your house? Like, can you uh, design trees. your house? Can you can you farm? Yeah, yeah you can farm. Ish. You can you can, you can put can, trees. You can down plant trees. And you turnips. Can, 
Yeah, you can bury okay. things. Yeah. So I, I think that layer is missing from this. Yeah. Uh, this is you are at a, you're running a campsite. Uh, it's kind of weird because there's a tent and it's like, and now there's this open area in front of the tent where you can put things. And one of the first things is a bookcase. I'm like, you don't put a fucking bookcase mm. outside. Yeah. Like I've seen outdoor libraries before, <laughs> but they're like they're locked boxes. Yeah. They're yeah. like, you've got to protect them from the weather. Yeah. I just put a, so I took that away. I'm like, no, this <laughs> books will be yeah. ruined. I'm like, look, we can, we can put a li- some of this furniture is yeah. appropriate. Like even, I even put a guitar out there because I've had like a trash guitar that we've left outside before. Mm-hmm. That's fine. I can have a trash guitar. <laughs> But it was an electric guitar. I'm like, no, no, it needs to be a shitty acoustic guitar yep. that you yep. paid $10 for at, a, at an op shop. Yep. yep. That's, I was like, I don't really get the camping experience. It's not, <laughs> you're not supposed to have disco It just doesn't lights. rain there. You're saying that it's, it's too, um, it's too cons- like, constrained of what you feel like you can comfortably put outside. Like oh, a house yeah. you can decorate and do all, all do kinds whatever, of things. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm like, no, this shit doesn't fly outside. Can this I good. come visit you? Yes. Okay, because that's oh, I guess okay. that's the other thing in Animal Crossing is the mm. visiting other people. Yes. Uh, yeah. it, has a, it has a big push, and there's lots and lots of of goals. Mm. So they have daily goals, and they have just standard goals. And a lot of them are you know collect a certain number yeah. of things, make a certain number of friends, go and visit friends, give them positive feedback, mm. stuff like that. I, I guess one of the big very things social stuff in Animal mm. Crossing is the interactions between all the characters yes. and the personalities, and they they know you and they ask you to do things. Yeah, does is that there? Um, it seems to be. I wouldn't. I wouldn't particularly say the writing is anything capturing me. But then, I'd uh, animal crossing either. writing is nothing no. that will no. normally capture. Um, you. It's very superficial in their yeah, relationships. It's, it's giving people gifts and then them saying, "Hey, you like me now? Why don't you come and hang out at my yeah. campsite?" Yeah. And then once they're there, you can kill them and eat them. And yeah, 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 that's yeah. exactly yeah. what animal crossing is. Traditional yeah. animal the crossing. Tradition, mechanics, the traditional yeah. love making procedure. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Full <laughs> circle. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it. It was fine. And I, like, I was fishing, I was getting things. Each area is like, you don't walk around a big world. They're just distinct areas. Yeah. You go in your camper, which you can also customize, but pretty much just the paint job. Mm. Um, it's like, oh, I'm shaking down trees and catching bugs, getting fish, meeting people, getting them to like me, getting some rewards by doing that. Okay, that seems to be the game. Well, I, that's, guess, that's, I guess I could repeat this forever. Yeah, mm. that's, that's an, it. It's Animal Crossing. I am nowhere near any point where I think about ever putting money into mm. the thing. Because, mm. uh, I mean, like, build times are, like, 30 seconds. Yeah. Mm. And honestly, even when it's like, this tree um, will replenish in three hours. I'm like, I'll see you in eight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm just sort of like, um, but that's normal Animal Crossing anyway. Yeah, well, exactly. Yeah. It's like... No, except with a couple of days. Yeah, and like if those build times, if those wait times start building up to any significant degree, yeah, I still don't think it would particularly matter that much. No. Um, but I don't really get one. I'm not trying to achieve anything. At least like in, I know at least some Animal Crossing, because again, I'm not an Animal Crossing person. I haven't mm. played. It's like you're paying off your house or something like that. Yeah. There is no overall goal. Mm. No. There's just like get more well, friends and get more I level. guess it tides me over until the Switch version. I mean, yeah. another Animal Crossing thing is that it, it's meant to mimic real time yes it does so, okay so yeah it's like you go visit it goes through seasons and things as well mm. yeah, but yeah pretty much because i play when i get home it's always night nah. <laughs> i should change my system mm. clock mm. um actually and the fact that it's an online game also means that every interaction just has that couple of second wait while oh, checks okay. the yeah, yeah like while you're shaking the the, the uh the tree yeah, yeah, the yeah. apples so, yeah, yeah like i pick up apple it's like did you <laughs> <laughs> let's just have a little cool down oh yeah, can you have that apple, apple. Yeah, right. yeah, you're not yeah. you're not hacking us yeah it's not terrible but it's also like it doesn't feel snappy yeah um it seemed fine. I am probably never going to load it again. Mm. Yeah. Because why? I haven't yet. You're like I've been to a bunch of other people's camps. Yeah, there's a bunch yeah. of random well, shit outside. The problem, <laughs> the problem is Book that there's, the, there's so little in Animal Crossing. Like yeah. the actual retail product, there's n- it's really not much there. Okay. Um, I mean, you've, you've played much Animal Crossing? I, I love Animal Crossing. I, I, do, I don't... I've still played a lot of it. Yeah. But I never know what I've got out of it. Yeah. Like it, I... I, I go, okay, so I've... It's I've like, yeah, I've moved. I've paid a raccoon some yeah, money. Yeah, it's like, I've, my house looks okay, yes. Yeah. I guess. I, yeah, yeah, it confuses me. They, they I get, don't know what I get out of it, but I just enjoy it. That's basically all I yeah. get out of it. Yeah. <laughs> This this is it's has the art style of the yeah. uh, pretty much it. Yeah, most of them have have the, the especially the texture work is very appropriate. Mm. Yep, mm. it looks like Animal Crossing as far as I can tell. It seems to be a basic Animal yeah. Crossing experience. Yeah, I don't get it. Other people might the the monetization at least at the early stages is certainly not egregious. Mm. It's totally doable. Yeah, well they were pretty good with uh, Fire Emblem. Yeah. Yes, uh, I still actually play that. Yeah, oh, Cheryl plays the shit. The only thing, if I wanted to get like the chairs to get um, Tom Nook and um, uh, Katie Slider to come, um, 
like those are a little bit out of my price range mm. at the moment mm. but everything else is like i got so many bloody bells it's, i don't know what i think to do with them i, I reckon that, that a lot of the game's going to come into seasonal stuff yeah where it's going to be oh christmas buy all the christmas stuff and now go and decorate your yeah yeah your and, of course that be, and that's where being on mobile is kind of cool yeah yeah actually speaking of um nintendo mobile um i didn't even realize uh me versus go i oh, don't me versus um i oh, wasn't me versus me Oh no, maybe it was just Meverse because I was surprised that because I thought it was Matomo had gone, but maybe it was just Meverse has finally mm. finished. Yeah, I knew that was shutting down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think that's was, right because um, I was like, I thought it was Matomo. I'm like, Mito- is it Matomo or Matopia? No, Matomo. Matomo. Yeah. yeah. I was like, oh, I didn't even realize it was closing, but I don't think it was. I think I'm, I mixed it up with Meverse. I'm yeah. pretty sure that that core technology lives on in Splatoon Two. Yes. Oh, um, yeah. Well, there was a character. Someone dressed up as a Splatoon Two character at PAX with a little signpost saying, "We can win, but." That'll never stop Meverse from shutting down. <laughs> like, that was pretty cute. I wish it said, release Nac 2 now. <laughs> 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 they were the best Meverse posts. I need to um, get back into Splatoon 2. Yeah. I, I, I think Meverse was just, for what it was worth, it wasn't worth the moderation for them. Mm. Yeah, there was a, lot a good, of, lot of deleting dicks. A lot of good yeah. art, though. Yeah. Mm. People got to do a lot of effort for those things in Splatoon 2. Mm. Drawing it pixel by pixel. It's crazy. Well, they, then they, again, there's a tool out to do it. I think you but, still have to manually enter it, though. No, 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 no. The, the tool tool is literally a physical robot that, oh, okay. that pushes the by, buttons for you. By tool, you mean physically, like, it will push the buttons. Yes. Okay. I don't know, no, any, I, I don't know any other way. I don't know any digital way of doing it, at least not back in the day. I haven't been keeping up with it, but it was literally like uh, a... Um, uh, Arduino controlled <laughs> that pushed the buttons on the fucking I know there was something that someone released um, that used the Pocken controllers from Wii U but I oh, can't okay. remember yeah, that... how it worked it was some sort of little program mm. yeah. I don't know I can't remember might, might have been I don't know yeah. last time I saw it I said it was physical like uh, motor control but that was back when it first started yeah. so I'm sure someone's mm. been working on it this was a couple of weeks after that so. yeah, yeah, yeah oh um, it's been months Yes. Uh, other thing, I, I played through a bunch of other stuff, but nothing really that's exciting. I bought to chat about. Fire Emblem Warriors in the end. I still haven't played it yet, though. I, I bought it. <laughs> I shouldn't have bought that game. Did you buy it? Yeah, I really. Why? Shouldn't have. It was a weird week, a weird month, Aww. and for some reason, I just spent way too much money. So you wanted to get weirder. No, no, it's weird enough. I had a weird uh, month. Sorry, no, not poor this month. Bestie. James. <laughs> uh, yeah, I bought it and I played it and uh, I was like, oh yeah, this is all right. And then I played it with Cheryl around and she laughed and laughed and got all the jokes. <laughs> and she's like, oh, I knew that character. And I'm like, I'm really glad I'm playing it with you around Cheryl because I you're, you're no- getting nothing out of this. <laughs> no idea what's going on. Man, it's I mean- a game for fans, which is why I didn't really comment on it for the show because it's like. Yeah, it's for people. I should yeah. borrow that off you. Oh, no, I bought it digitally. Too. I have the oh. physical cartridge. <laughs> I have the physical cartridge. There you okay, go. I will borrow that for half an hour and yeah. then get bored of it because it is just... Yeah, you warriors. never even started Awakening. No, I started it. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. I haven't booted up since you gave it back to me, so maybe you deleted all my saves. I definitely did. <laughs> yeah. I said, salt the earth. You bastard. Yeah. Down with Amy's joy and memories. Poor okay. me. Okay. Um, do, 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 do. Anything else you really want to talk about, Jamesy? Play Donkey Kong Country 2. 2? Oh. you going no, on no, no, sorry, not in that. Still in Donkey Kong Country 1. I played Donkey Kong Country, comma, 2. Oh, also. Yeah, this also. <laughs> oh, man, we need to release the game with also at the end. <laughs> uh, yeah, so um, playing it on SNES, SNES Mini, that was sort of like Cheryl and I basically sat down and went, let's play some two-player games. Mm-hmm. Um, on the, on this, this SNES Mini, uh, we went through a bunch. Uh, played some Super Mario World. It was okay. I don't really like Mario games though, but played a bunch. Uh, played Contra. Made Cheryl feel sick. Got to the top-down bit with the spinning. That's the best bit. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but eventually, we landed on Donkey Kong Country mm-hmm. to play uh, to play multiplayer. Uh, and I, I was really delighted to, to rediscover the passing controlling co- passing controller co-op. Oh, yeah, yeah. Which has kind of disappeared mm. in kind of modern games. Uh, because Cheryl is a very competent platform player. Mm-hmm. I am not. Yeah. Uh, so having someone who is good and someone who is bad that you alternate between means that you make progress because the other person just yep. carries you through it. <laughs> uh, but I still feel like I'm getting through some of the hard parts and things like that. Half on that topic. Yeah. Um, I was at Netherworld last night and I had this couple um, going on about the games behind me and they were like, how is this two player? And then one of them died and they figured it out. 
Oh, there's the, yeah, yeah. Well, it's not <laughs> when you think co-op these days, you, yeah. you do think like people playing at the same time. Uh, but it was actually real fun. This like that that couch experience of just passing around the controller. Like mm. you know, we've we've done it before with you know like Resident Evil Seven. That's yeah. how we played it. And it's a just lot a, of horror games actually. Yeah, well, that's um, that's how my brother and I got through Crash Bandicoot Three. Yeah, and but it's just a more structured version of that. Yeah, and I I kind of feel like there's all this effort that goes into oh we're gonna have co-op. We're going to have like all these like special missions for co-op and things like that. But there is something to be said for just going, you know what? Just yeah. alternate playing. Like that's all That's all you need to yeah. do. Uh, and I thought Donkey Kong Country's got some nice stuff with the, you can, because you can tag in and out mm. uh, just with a button. Mm. So the, you know, some characters better at some part. You just oh, you know, yeah. hit the button and swap out. Mm-hmm. Um, having the kind of nice recovery system of like, you know, one person dies, but then if the other person can get to a yep. barrel, you can get it. Yeah. I like, yeah, I actually mm. really enjoyed it. The, um, the levels as well. The level design in Donkey Country, I thought, was 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 pretty good. Um, I haven't never really played it much before, and I need to get through it because I'm going to play Donkey Kong Country Two, <coughs> which I'm told is the better Donkey Kong. I've heard that as yeah. well. Yeah, it is. Yeah, uh, but I think it's still the first one. It's still pretty good. Yeah, like it's it's um, there's some interesting levels. It controls well. Uh, mm. I, I hasn't really been too many moments being frustrated, but that's probably because yeah. Cheryl carries me through. Yeah, through the hard parts. I just need to get around to playing some yeah. more games. And I, I think. <laughs> It really playing on the SNES Mini. I realized like that the real thing that, that makes that little component work mm-hmm. is the controllers. Okay. Like I think because it's like yeah, I could, I could be running this on Ad- Arduino or something yeah. like that. Um, but there's just something about the having the official. Yes. Yeah. You know, with yeah. Even, even the cable, like it's just like it feels like I'm holding yeah. the SNES controller. That, that was. Um, I've actually been looking a bit further into doing my Raspberry Pi. That's the big os- yeah. obstacle for me at the moment because. I don't know what I want on there. Yeah, because I guess there's like there's that uh, wireless um, SNES controller. Oh, yeah, tenders. yeah, Bitender, which I, I don't know how close it is to the to the feel of the mushy yeah, buttons and things like that. Know either. Um, but yeah, I that's that was really mm. one of the big selling points for me was that controller feels like I am you know eight years old and I'm yeah. you know playing a SNES. Like, yeah. yeah, that's my problem. I just don't have the nostalgia. I really well, I wish the, I did. Funny thing is, I don't really either. Yeah. Um, because I never had a SNES. Okay. But it's it's almost like learnt nostalgia. It's kind of weird. Hmm. Okay. You enjoying your game there, buddy? Oh yeah, I just remember I was trying to get this power mood. Oh no, no shit. <laughs> uh, I did my jump. I don't normally have the split controllers. I'm like, ah, I've still got to remember. I get back in. Don't don't everyone watch? I was just listening to James's SNES. Story. No, I'm done. Done. Yeah, you can. You can put it down now, Paul. But I, I can talk about High Hell while I do this. All right, go do it. Okay, so uh, Evolver <laughs> Digital released um, High Hell, which is a um, of like a Hotline Miami, but a first-person shooter. Um, and <laughs> no, I know, no, keep playing, Paul. Oh, I died. I was just waiting for it to come back up. Um, and I didn't really like it at all. Oh. Um, it's like real neon ugly colors, yeah. which is part of the design of it. Um, but it's real, like it's really direct. Like there's no mouse moving. There's no anything. It's relatively wild field field of view but it's really close quarters mm. and it's just one of those like you kick out like it's it's supposed to be played fast but at the same time hotline miami works because you can see like where no, the we'll enemies keep, are keep, keep playing the game okay i'm, I'm trying i'm trying, <laughs> trying, 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 trying to try this i don't want to see you i'm like, gonna jump and then yeah, you to, you to, and then to, i gotta go okay. keep getting the moons <sighs> So keep going, keep talking. You gotta do this jump and No, no, no. No, you have to also talk about yeah, it. Yeah, um <laughs> Yeah, because yeah, it's like you're in these high rises and yes, you're high actually, rises. Can I can't play while I'm talking, this is hard. Okay, move and then oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hit the right need to do a dive and I fucked it up because you know, at least when I'm dead I can talk. Um, <laughs> so, you just yeah, wasted yeah. it. Yeah, it's true, it's true. Okay, I just gotta get into the rote learning. All right, okay. And jump yeah. and jump and jump. I gotta get to the point yet so I can just jump as I thought. You also need to talk about this game. Yeah, yeah. Um so yeah, so you'll like the thing with Hotline Miami is yes. that you just <laughs> this is so <laughs> good. <laughs> <laughs> I can do that first jump. Let's see if we can do this jump. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> Okay, dead again. Um, you can see all the enemies and everything, so you burst through a door and you like yeah. shoot, shoot, shoot. But the problem in first person is that you don't know where everything is. So uh, okay, yeah. You yeah. kick open a door. It's like, oh, okay. There's a guy there already with a gun pointed at me, and okay, so I can. Ba- it's not instant death, so I can take a hit, and that's mm. fine. And it's not that hard to shoot, but it also, I just don't get kinetic fun. I guess when you're replaying levels, you might be able to get it, but um, but yeah, okay. So it's it's like taking taking Hotline Miami. Shifting the first person just doesn't like like interesting idea on paper, but doesn't work that well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, like it's obviously go, it's obviously trying to get frantic, and it just never does. Yeah. it's just 
this is just a bit stiff and a bit awkward and it's not like fun like once you've finished the mission objective you just jump off the the building like hey hey and you parachute down and okay. like, gives you your stats and everything like it feels like it's supposed to be really fun and kinetic and fast and I just get nothing mm. out of it it's it's very ugly and it's tr- it's trying to you like deliberately ugly on purpose style yeah. but because I'm not getting into it it just stays ugly mm. like oh I really wish I liked this, but there's other first person shooters that are more fun and more. Yeah, I guess you got things like like uh, Devil Daggers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah which like, is going for frantic kind of shooting. Yeah, yeah. I, I still wish Devil Daggers had like more than, than just the one procedural, like, mm. like this is the pattern and it will never change. And if you suck, you'll just suck forever. Mm. I wish it gave me a little bit more to cater to. You got a different yeah. seed. Yeah, exactly. Um, I, yeah, so I wasn't particularly impressed. Okay, um, should we wrap up so I can do yeah, this jump properly? Yeah, yeah, you can. I, I've been playing Galaga. Galaga? Oh, Galaga, Yeah, because okay. um, Netherworld just recently re- um, released their third wave of wizard pins. So mm. you get a certain amount of points and you can get a, a pin, which I like, pins. Yeah. And yeah, Galaga is fun. Back on that sort of topic of um, patterns you've got to learn. Mm. Yeah. So are you practicing at home to get good at it? I was uh, practicing last night at Netherworld. I'm probably going to go play it on PC. Yeah, I think that's that's a cheaper way to do it. Yeah. Guys, the Power Moon was not where I was trying to get to. (laughs) (laughs) Bullshit. One of the good things about the game is that um, because Cappy talks to you. Mm. We actually never even mentioned Cappy. Cappy is the character. That's your hat character. Um, So when you enter an area, he'll just go... I think there's still something to find in here. Mm. Or to say, this area is clear. Okay. Um, it's just like little things like that just to be like, yeah, don't I waste like my Cappy. time. That's good. Um, I think I still think Cappy is a dumb design. Cappy is so, a dumb but name. But somehow the whole thing is genius. It just works. As, when I first got it, I just kept reading his name as Crappy. I just cannot <laughs> stop reading Poor it like crappy that. Crappy Cappy. <laughs> Man, this Cappy. hiding somewhere in here. I'm going to get it. All right. You're going to find it. It's like, I just love if I just walked a little bit later. <laughs> just just, just there. behind the pipe. Yeah, it's just like, oh yeah, yeah, it wasn't really hidden. It was just for idiots. I'll work it out. Mm. I'll get there's it. A, there's a puppy. Two I'm going to be king of this game. Oh, Toast looks so sad. With his bad haircut. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Thank you for joining us for this episode of 8.5 Bit. You can go to our website, 8.5bit.com, our Twitter and Facebook, and please like and share anything, like and that, subscribe to us on iTunes, and if you do, please review, because reviews help us share the love. I've been your host, Paul. I've been James. I'm still Amy. And we'll catch you all later. Kids, uh, also, the at this point, the show's probably going to be fortnightly. Oh, okay. You've got to work it out. You can do your band? Cause, yes, band's back. Yay! Jim. So um, we'll work it out. We'll see. Maybe we can fit it all in. Just I'm sure okay. I can, buddy. Yeah. Don't, don't tease me. <laughs> okay. I can drive now. Bye, everyone. Bye. See ya.